This music's a bit much, isn't it? It's very happy. Hello? Can we get that music off? Thank you. I apologise. Hello? I am... I don't know what I am today. Um, my hat is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my hat. I'm sorry that you can see my floor now. I don't remember you ever being able to see that, like, trash corner. Oh, should I turn my music down? Yeah. Actually, if I do this and then turn it down on Spotify, because it's still quite loud for me. Is that better for you? Mm. Let me know. Let me know. But yes, I am here. I am here. Let me get caught up on. So I'm going to be looking at chat here. This is an all chat and stream. There's going to be no games, so I don't know how this is going to go. Um, okay, let me say hello to everybody. Um, it was here, well, first was, no, first was Aranicus. Um, welcome in, I hope you're doing well. Mallow was next. Good morning, Mallow. Wait, it's not morning anymore. Mock, hello, welcome in. Mock was unofficially first or officially first, whatever way you want to. Whatever way you want to do it. And Noah, welcome in. Noah, I hope you're doing well. Um, I I hope you're doing okay regardless. I don't know if that's the best thing to say, but I'm thinking about you anyway. I'm thinking about you. And Lars, hello. Hi, is everyone? I don't know. Why do I feel like... I feel so zoomed in. No. Yeah, so we have a Kremis premise stuff going on here premise stuff wrong thing oh my god did you see my starting soon screen i made it myself look i know it's not the best but i made this i hacking made this myself look at how cute it is anyway i made that i'm very professional Um, don't redeem any tarot pools. I'm going to change it. Is this better? This is better. Um, yeah, so don't redeem any tarot pools. Let me... Actually, maybe I always keep chat over here. I don't know where I keep chat when I'm starting soon. Um, let me change my tarot redemption thing. And then I will be with you. So we're just gonna cleanse every single fucking crystal I own. We're gonna do some winter solstice tarot. Um and I maybe tell you a bit about winter solstice and Yule. Like if you don't know anything about it. Well, mostly Yule, not winter not winter solstice, but I named it once winter solstice because everyone's kind of heard of it before, you know. Um, why is TJ hello welcome in how's it going it's great to see it okay let me turn off the taro redemption okay I'm gonna do a new one what was that noise was that a fart oh my god Noah Noah um, I almost wrote Noah in the channel point redemption Winter solstice card pull. Um, was that a follow? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. So th I'm going to make them 300. I'm not going to put a cooldown or anything on it. Um, one per person though. That would probably uh, would be obviously sensible. So I've done that. Got them. Grand. Hi, is everyone? How is all doing? How is it going? I hope you are keeping well. I hope you are excited for for Christmas. Um, I will explain the part in the background in a minute. I will explain it. 
but yeah hi are you um i'll be doing them th i'll be doing the winter social things throughout the stream so um if you like can't be here for the whole thing i recommend just redeeming it when you need it or like when i i don't know i'm going to be doing them throughout the stream but if you don't get one or you need to pop off i can give you your points back but they're not going to be like if you redeem it you're not going to get it straight away if you redeem it um i don't know when i'll be i'll be doing them but yeah oh you can see the alerts yeah it's probably not i made a new scene thank you lors thank you thank you yeah it's not <laughs> okay bear with me these are all new scenes so this is why And then I'll move the... That should be everything fixed, I think. Ricky keeps farting. Yeah, he just kept farting the whole time. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Should I, what color should I make my light? Should I make, is there a fun color I can make it? What about... What do we think of that? Is that too much? I'm sorry my face is so close to the screen. Oh my god. Green? Do we want green? Do we want a party? We don't want red. That's too much. Oh wait, the blue? What about the blue? That looks okay, right? Should we keep the blue on? Looks a bit cold though, doesn't it? The blue is also nice. Okay. What are we doing today? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh yeah, I'm definitely not keeping party on Mellow. Yeah, I, I felt bad even putting it up. In case someone has um, epilepsy or other other things. But yeah, we're here. We're, we're just vibing today and that's it. It's just pure vibes. I have this screen as well. So I'm gonna do my bits here. Um, my Taro stuff. Um, I wonder, can I move the camera sort of? Oh no, that's going towards me more. Oh, I messed it up. Yeah, that's that would be going towards me. So we have this little space. Um. Just to do like a taro and light some candles and whatnot. Um, I have my my Krampus candle. It has a little bell on it. I don't know how I can show you. Obviously we have it here. <gasps> Thank you for the follow up one in. Oh, those alerts are massive. Have they always been like that? It's my Krampus candle. Um, it says on it, um, soy eco wax infused with Don't know birch chat cedar sorry mint and something essential oils it's hand poured it's my krampus one yeah they've not always been like that this is because this is a brand new scene though mellow that's going <laughs> yeah and we have this one as well i might leave this one for christmas day um so i might leave that for christmas day but i'll keep it here for decoration why not or was it where we could see the cat yeah keep it there for decoration but i might like my uh, Krampus and my Yule one. I'll show you my Yule one. Hi Kate, welcome on in. Sorry if I missed anybody and we have our Yule. So we'll light, we'll, we'll get started by lighting them, will we? And then let me move my phone out of the way. We don't need that. Whiskey, hello, welcome in. How's it going? Um, I've ran out of matches, so I, I'm using a, a hacking lighter which i'm i am kind of sad about um incense holder they're not where's all my incense holders going hack hackies 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 we can use this one even though i usually use this for candles i don't know i maybe put the incense off to the side but we'll get some vibes going we'll light some incense um 
I don't know what else we'll do. We'll do we'll do things. But yeah, hi is everyone? Oh, it's chilly. It's chilly in here. It is very chilly. And thank you, Lord Mel, for the hosts. I appreciate it. I wonder should I move this? Because this one's prettier, I think. I think so anyway. It has a bell too. So are you all sat for Christmas? Are you all sat? I'm just going to put it over here. I obviously don't want to have it near my PC and whatnot. That is just not a good idea. So we're going to put it over here. Like this. Sophie, hello. Welcome on in. How's your weekend been? Wait, wait, what day is it today? Tuesday? Oh, please no man. Oh, I need to trim the wick of this one. Hack. Hackies. I don't have small scissors anywhere. I wonder will this work? Outfit the winter. Yes, we're just vibing today, Kate. It's just pure chats. You are gonna watch me clean all my crystals. Um Oh, you can see. Oh, hack my bank cardinals. <laughs> Wait. It's my out of date bank card, so it's fine. You can see the cursed drawer now. Look at this hack and wet cut. Autumn. <laughs> Autumn, please. No, this is just for crem this is just for today, right? This is just a cremis one. So what we're doing today is we're doing some Winter Solstice Tarot readings. Um, I'm not sure when we'll get because we're gonna do them, we're gonna like spread them throughout the stream. So um if you request them all now, like they're just gonna be done throughout the stream, so um yeah. And then we're gonna clean all my crystals. I have a pot here. I've got some essential oils to put into it um, and then I'm gonna like clean my space a little bit for what I can with my PC here and then we are gonna clean all, all my crystals I'll show you all here and I'll show you this is the tarot cards I'm using we're just gonna it's a wee bit of a spiritual hygiene day I guess she's gone off there we go, so we have candles lit away from the PC stuff, so don't worry. Got them out of the way, because I just, I don't want to risk anything. Thank you for the lurk, whiskey. So yeah, we're here, we're just, we're just going to chat. Um, I do have a nice little Yule, um, cloth I use, I use, but, um, I can't get into it because of my whole setup. Um, oh, did they? Oh my god, mock. I'm so sad. Oh, okay. Should I read out? I, so I have a little Yule leaflet that I kind of go by that I got from a, like a witchy shop I bought it from. Um, so I used this last year when I made, I made little, um, they're called witch balls. It was like a protection ball. Um, I made it. I don't know where to, I can't get access to any of my stuff because they're like behind my PC stuff. So I'm really sad about that. But we, me and Mock sat together and made one last year. Um, and we used this. So I'll read this out for anyone who doesn't know what like Winter Solstice or, or Yule is, I guess. <gasps> Malor. I, when I first seen your name, I, I was saying it like Mallory. <laughs> but then I heard Jerry say it and they said it like Malor. But yes, welcome in. How's it going? Uh, happy social slash shield. How's everybody doing? This is, I'm very nervous because I've never done a stream like this before, but we're just vibing today. We're just vibing. Oh yeah, and the winter solstice car pulls are only three, 300 now, but like I said, I'll, I don't know when we'll get to them. It'll just be like, yeah. Oh, Mallory's, oh, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, so let me read out um, just a bit about, about you, what we have on here. So it says here, uh, you'll, Winter Solstice, Yuletide. I don't know what half of these, how to pronounce. Saturn, Saturnalia. That's what Cleo was talking about in the Discord. 
Um, Finn's Day Festival of Saul and Sun Return. Um, Samhain was a time to acknowledge and honour the will of the year turning into your darkest stages. At Yule we celebrate the return to the sun. Yule is the shortest day and longest night of the year. Uh, this winter festival has been celebrated for centuries, even millennia. Like it's, it was, like I remember reading about, um, reading up like how it was celebrated in Ireland as well. Um, it's one of the oldest celebrations recorded in ancient Egypt. The return of the sun god Ra was celebrated. The Romans celebrated the festern. <coughs> The festival, um, sorry, the Romans celebrate the festival of Saturnalia. Saturnalia? I don't know if I've said that right. Um, from the 17th of December for seven days. Okay, let's go to the, 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 the Celts, the Celts, Celts, Celtic, 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 okay. Um, the, the ancient, I get so mixed up because Mark supports Celtic which is the football club and I always say I always get the two words mixed up so it's Celtic um are said to have believed that the sun stopped for 12 days during this time and the Yule log was lit to honor the darkness banish evil spirits and bring good luck for the coming year so every year we usually have a Yule log just randomly um like my mum doesn't realize the like significance of it but she always bought one and I'm really really sad because like she bought one someone like prepped it for her and she like bought it off them um I'm really sad that this year we won't have one um but last year we actually burned it in the fire as well I managed to talk my parents into it they didn't think anything weird about it which was good Craig no no not the Craig not the Greg I cannot um, so the Druid tradition of cutting and blessing mistletoe at this time of year still happens today with Druids blessing the mistletoe crops at markets before it goes on sale. Um, in Norse tradition, Yule is known as J Yule, J-U-L, and festivity festivities include burning Yule logs, sacrifices, feasting, games, and songs. And it's from Norse tradition that we get, um, wassailing, which I think is, is that Carl singing? Does anyone know? Oh my god, Melora, that sounds amazing. I would love that so much. I would love that so much. That was... Oh, it was just fake quiet. You just couldn't hear it. You know what? I'm kind of over it. I'm kind of over it today. Um, okay, Eula's when the Holly King, who has ruled since midsummer, surrendered his crown to the young Oak King, who will rule until the next summer solstice. There's some traditions where a mock battle between the Holy King and Oak King is fought at winter and summer solstice, with each king taking his turn to win. And then we have like all the correspondences, so I'm not going to read all these out, but it's like I, lo I love this page because it tells me like what crystals and stuff to put out um, in my space during these times. Um, and then there's like celebrations what you could actually do during Yule. And then a wee tarot spread, which I won't be doing today. Um, I'll do, well, maybe do it off stream, but yeah. So. Oh, I actually wanted to do some grounding with you as well. Would anybody be interested in that? I have a grounding video I always use and I was hoping maybe um, you would want to do that too. Um together maybe I think it should be okay for me to play it on stream um because it's just a I think she's a she's a Wiccan um I think she's Wiccan uh yeah she's pretty popular it's just her talking through like a grounding meditation uh it's what I do um before I do any like any tarot readings and stuff or if I just feel really out of out of sorts um, but it's it's basically like a, a grounding and centering or a centering sort of video. But it, I, I really love it. So we can do that before we cleanse some crystals, I guess. And when I cleanse my crystals, I just clean them. That's that's all it is for me. I don't really do anything else. I'm going to light some incense. Sometimes I just have some incense lit as well. As you can see, dust is flying everywhere. This is a new... A new incense and rat hello welcome in did i say hello to you rat and izzy hello welcome in i'm reading everyone's messages and like not actually saying it. ew ew that's not cinnamon that's opium ew 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 where's my cinnamon oh oh no 
What's this? That's not cinnamon either. I'll have to get Mock to bring me an incense stick in. A cinnamon one. I know she has some. Can't find <laughs> can't find it. But we'll light some in we'll light some incense when we get some off her. You're paying right now? Okay, well, I can, you can get me some after. You can get me some after. Say hi, is everyone? How are you doing? What did Rat say? Let me see. I need to be able to scroll up here. What did Rat say? Wait, a new overlay. Oh, wait, I did say hello to Rat, I think. I did. I did say hello to Rat. Um, yeah, so just overlay for today, basically. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit of just one little thing of uh, rosemary essential oil in my thing, in my pot. Because I don't want, I don't want it to like mess with the crystals or anything. Usually I only put a tiny, tiny bit in. Um, because obviously putting essential oils in water, it doesn't um, dilute it. It just kind of sits there. So I, I literally only put a tiny, tiny bit in. What do we think of the music? Is it okay? Should I get something else? Wait, that's fucking huge. Why is it so big? <laughs> what? Why is it so big? Why is it so big? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? No, this is silly. This is really silly. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a mess. It's because I made new scenes for this. My stream element sign was really big too, right? Make it even bigger, Mel, please. Alright, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what's going on. Uh, this is a um, piece um, anointing oil I got from a, a witchy a witchy shop. Oh, I can't remember. It's called uh, Witch's Heart or something like that. Um, oh, I put too much on. Hack. I'm just putting it on my hands. I usually, like, just put it on, like, candles and stuff. But, yeah, I will do, we'll do, I'll just get set up and then we'll do the grounding. Looking for cinnamon. I think, did mum get you some? And Mark and Veronica, thank you so much for the hosts as well. Thank you, thank you. I think that's, is that Mark coming now? No, it's not her. It's not her. I thought it was her. All right. This obviously isn't all the crystals we're cleansing. We have a lot more. Like, a lot. So I'll be, like, just hopping up and down. We'll just be chatting. No, no, I just used rosemary essential oil. It's fine. It's fine. Usually when I'm cleansing them, I put uh, rosemary in um, a little... Muslin sort of bag and put it in the water. Um, but I just can't get access to any of my stuff at the minute. After Christmas, I'm going to rearrange my room and whatnot. And just, um, I just need more space. Thank you, Noah, for the clip. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wait, Noah, if you could, could you post it in the Discord, please? Because I will forget to, to see it after stream. I will forget. So. Please, I got stuck under my bed. Oh my god. You already did? Oh, thank you, thank you. Not caps, please. Oh my gosh. Not the caps. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I keep opening it in the wrong hacking end. Why is this a thing? I 
I have t I have boxes and boxes of cinnamon incense. Um, I like to use it for protection, but also it's the only smell it doesn't make me sick. So that's also <laughs> also really helpful. Um, I have my window open as well, so no one worry about anything. Um, any flame things. So do not worry. All right, we got our we got our incense going. Do we want to do some grinding now? Cinnamon and clove. I need that. Oh my god, I need cinnamon and clove. I need it. Okay, let me go down a little bit so I can fit under this hacking table. Okay, let's do some. Let's do some grinding together, shall we? Oh, I'm going to mute sound alerts during this. Not that I think anyone's going to be a troll. But. Well, I don't actually trust you. Enough to not be a trolls. So I'm just going to mute it. Darn. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just muting that because I know no one is in chat. Okay. YouTube up. I can put this Yule thing away until I'm like, until I need to know. I don't think I need to know any of that. Okay, let's see. What we got, what we got. Uh, it's Starhawk I use. Starhawk, is it Starhawk? Grounded meditation, yes, yes, yes. This is my, oh, I have watched it on this, okay, cool. Let's mute this for now, I find this section where it starts what is that because she talks for a little bit at the start so we'll find out where it is she saw right through me i did let me mute the browser for use for now so i Okay, and your surroundings are obviously, if you have never done anything like this before, it's going to sound really silly, but um, trust me, How your body feels. it's really good. I don't know if you can hear this. I hope you can't. Oh, for fuck's sake, not this. Maybe we should actually listen to the whole thing. It's important to have a personal touch. You know what? So I'd like to begin now with a meditation. Oh, you can hear it? It's important to take I'd like to begin. You shouldn't actually shouldn't even be able to hear it. <laughs> okay, I've unmuted it. I'm turning it down for me. He's probably heard the echo, that's why. He's probably just heard an echo, it's fine. Um do we need to show you the video? Actually, I won't show you the video because you won't be able to um, see it anyway. There's only like... Um, like photos, they just put like random photos on. Okay, are you ready? Get comfy, grab a crystal, um, and we're going to do this, okay? This is going to be weird, I've never done this on stream. Um, but yes, this is my favorite, 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 fuck me, my favorite, favorite thing to grind with. Um, sometimes I do it without her, like, talking along, but, um, I, I like, I like listening to her. But let me know if you can't hear it when I start. Begin now with a meditation that is probably our basic Can magical you hear it? practice. If you want to practice the craft, if you want to be a witch... It's Obviously important to that have bit's not personal practice, applicable to everybody. Every day. In some traditions, you know, there's meditation that you do or there's a particular prayer that you do. In Wicca, we encourage people to find the practice that works for them. But Can you hear it? For me is the basic thing that I do every day and and I find especially useful in okay, dangerous or tense situations. And it's called grounding. 
And basically what it okay. is is she's going to walk us through energies it. to the energies of the earth. So sit, stand, be comfortable for a moment. And just notice how you're breathing. Notice how your body feels. Start to notice how aware or unaware you are of your surroundings or the people that you're with. And now consciously plant your feet on the ground and take a deep breath. As you breathe, really focus on bringing that breath down into your belly, letting your belly expand, letting your knees be loose, letting your body be balanced. And just take a moment and notice how that breath feels in your body. If you're tense, if you're worried, if you're anxious, imagine just letting go of all of that with your breath. And feel your feet on the ground. And just know that being aware of your feet on the ground, aware of that connection, aware of your breath, can help bring you into a state of calm, and a state of awareness where you can stop and make a choice about what you want to do. Now, as you breathe, imagine that those roots can push down through the floor, through the soil, through whatever you're standing on, down into the earth. That, in fact, they can tell you something about the quality of the earth where you stand. You can let them push down through all those layers below you, down into the waters that pool underneath the earth and let them bathe in those cool waters. Let them push down through layers of rock all the way down into that fire at the heart of the earth. And as you breathe, feel that fire, that living molten rock is part of the earth's body. It's like her life blood circulating below us. And in fact, it's her lifeblood that's still hot with that moment of creation in which the earth was born. It's that great creative fire that builds new lands. If there's something you want to release or let go of, take a breath and let it go down into that fire. And let that fire just take it away, transform it, transform it back into pure energy. And then with the breath, you can draw some of that energy up through your roots. Draw it up through the rock and up through the water. Draw it up through the soil and up into the soles of your feet. Draw it up through your legs and up into the base of your spine. Draw it up into your belly. And as you breathe, feel your spine as if it were the trunk of a tree growing and stretching like a sapling reaching up to the sun, becoming flexible. As that energy rises, you might find that it releases some tension. It warms some place that needs healing. Draw it up into your heart and let yourself feel for a moment what it's like to be centered in your heart. And draw it up through your neck and throat. Draw it up into your third eye in the center of your forehead and let that open just as much as is comfortable for you right now. Draw it up through the crown of your head and out like branches that reach up into the sky and sweep back down around you and touch the earth again. So they make a circle. They make an energy circuit. And you can feel the sunlight on those leaves and branches. And you can draw that sunlight in and draw it down all the way down through top of your head, your heart, and your belly, all the way down through your roots into the earth. You can stand for a moment and feel how your balance between earth and sky, running the earth energy up through you, drawing the sky energy down, letting that lovely sphere of branches and leaves that surround you be like a filter that can protect you, that can filter out any energies you don't want to come in. And now as you breathe, if you've closed your eyes, open your eyes. Let yourself be aware that you can be grounded 
You can be in the state of awareness and still have your eyes open. It's about being present in the world. So notice what you take in and how much information you can take in. And as you breathe, as you open your eyes, as you look around you, know that you can also move and be grounded. You don't have to be stuck or static. You can participate in the dynamic changing universe. So as you breathe, take some steps. Imagine that with each step, you can kind of feel those feet growing roots that sink into the earth. You can feel that contact, that connection with Mother Earth. I'm going to stop it there. I usually, um, because I don't like walk about, um, I usually I usually cut it there because I I actually when I do I don't even put my feet on the ground I kind of usually I'm sitting on my bed and I just imagine the roots like coming out from the bottom of me from me but yeah I hope I hope and if anyone felt followed along with that let me know how you feel let me know um how you felt doing that I love it so much that time was a little hard for me to concentrate than normally usually I can imagine a little more a little bit more I can visualize um I usually I visualize how it looks and stuff but I think because I was streaming I was a little bit more you know a little bit more aware but at the same time it was very good it was still very relaxing for me I feel very grounded after that if you're feeling very grounded that's great that's great savage I'm glad I'm glad but yeah it is my my favorite one Obviously, not the best for everyone. Oh, I'm so sorry I had the alerts turned off. Nero, hello. I had the alerts paused for the video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me, t let me put them back on. Also, that was so big. That was very big. It's called grounding, Savage. It can also be called centering, grounding and centering. I think that one's a little bit of both, to be honest. Let me figure out why this is so bloody big. Hmm. Ah, uh, here we go. That's why it is huge. Okay, let me make it smaller. Nero, thank you so much for the, what was that, three months you've been here? How's it going? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Let's put the music back on. There we go. It's a bit dark here, isn't it? I don't really have a light for here. Um, I'm sorry, it's kind of dark down here. I could put a candle, but I don't want to risk any any damage, so we're not going to do it. But yeah, I hope he's felt, I hope he's feeling nice after that. My incense went out. There we go. Incense is back on. Okay. So yeah, that's that's it. That's the. That's the brand and I do. It's very good. If anyone wants the link, I can post it. I think it's in Discord though, somewhere. I think it's top. I think it's in the witchy section, but I can send it to anyone if you want to know it. No, they're not. They're just what I like to use, Savage. I, I like to use them. You don't, they're not necessary, no. Um, I just use whatever crystals are my favorite. So I use natural citron because I think it's very grounding and smoky, smoky quartz because it helps with um, sad, sad boy, sad boy vibes. Yes, I will send you the link, Mellow, for sure. See, I just have my, my cloth. And we're just gonna cleanse the crystals and, and we're just gonna chat. And I'm just I'm just I'm just wiping them. And Mello, I'm so sorry that you have to work. Um I'm sorry. 
Is she's oh is she? I love it. I love that savage. Hey, you could get her some crystals. There's a hmm. I will I will um message you a store to check out. Um I will DM you. I don't really want to say it on stream. I know you're kinda in the same sort of region as me somehow. So I will I will DM you a store. I will DM you. You can check it out. Can you see the incense smoke? Gosh. But yeah, we'll 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 pause at some point and do the do the cards as well. So just redeem them whenever you want and we'll get them we'll get them done at some point. Caleb, hello! Oh, Mark, thank you so much for whispering the link. Thank you so much. Actually, Mark, could you send Savage that store? As well. Oh no, Caleb, is it uni? Has uni been going? Oh, I'll do it. It's okay, Mark. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. Does anyone want me to, like, show you my crystals while we're doing this? Or is it fine to just... Look at my mushy one. I've showed that one so many times on stream. I've showed it so many times. Maybe I'll at people in chat or something when I'm doing their card pull sort of thing. Maybe. But yeah, Caleb, I hope I hope you're doing well. Your new flat, oh my god, amazing. Amazing. This is a uh, black moonstone. Oh, I love it. Oh, it looks green, but it's black. It's black. Oh wait, actually, Ma, could you post the link for the grounding thing in chat? So everyone can get, get access in case there's anyone who wants it and just didn't want to say. Did Nero, did I miss Nero saying something actually? When they resubbed? No. Grand. Fantasia? Fantasy? Fantasy? Is that how you say it? Welcome in, how's it going? Yeah, it is, it's a cosy room. It's, it's due, uh, it's... It's due an upgrade, but I mean, yeah. But welcome in. Neil, hello. You just missed us doing some grounding. But Mark's put the video in if anyone else wants to do some grounding while we're sitting here playing some crystals. I, I don't think my, my fossil needs too much of a wipe down. Don't worry, I'm not going to clean any cell night. Also, this is very damp. Like, it's not wet. It's just damp a little bit. So don't worry about me getting water on my crystals. Everyone come visit in Manchester. Oh my god. Maybe one day, Caleb. Maybe one day. I do like Manchester. Grounding. Grounding, Neil. It's a grounding and centering exercise. You troll. You absolute troll. This is my favourite uh, lavatory. My favorite but i actually keep this with my taro so i'm going to put it on top of my taro here and i also keep this with my taro as well it's obsidian it's actually snowflake obsidian there's like bits of snowflake in it put that on my taro cards as well yeah i hope you are going to have an amazing amazing christmas amazing holidays and if you don't i hope that you can find some some vibes at least thank you so much for the follow welcome on in welcome on in we don't usually do stuff like this on stream um but i'm always more than welcome to i'm always more than happy to talk about it this cinnamon doesn't smell very cinnamony doesn't smell like my normal ones 
Oh, these are my pendulums. I don't actually use this one. Maybe I should do this in like a giveaway or something. Although it's not really, I don't know if everyone would like this. Maybe I'll just send it to one of my friends. But this is um, Opalite. It's man made. I usually do vibe with um, man made crystals as well. Like Goldstone I really love and it's man made. Um, but Opalite I can't vibe with. I just can't. This pendulum I tried to get it to vibe with me for so long. And it just hacking hated me. So I, I like my Tiger's Eye one though. But my favourite is over, over there. It's my Labradorite one. Oh my god, Neil. Neil. Okay, these are all wee tiny bits. I'm not gonna cleanse all the wee tiny ones. Uh, because I use them for candles, so they will be used when they're used. Like they'll be cleansed and and charged when they're gonna be used. So they're I'm not gonna cleanse them. And I'll go grab some more. We have a lot. We have a lot of crystals. We have a lot. Let me just move this incense actually. It's a bit much, a bit much. But yeah, fantasy, welcome on in. I hope you're keeping well. Did I unmute? I did unmute the sound alerts. I hope this is ASMR and not really annoying for you. It's like these crystals popping in here. Is it annoying? Yes, it's a very... A wee, a wee spiritual stream today, I guess. Eight months and on you. I love the universe sometimes. Autumn 103 love. Me too, Wems. Oh my god. Eight months on you. What the heck? My mushy one doesn't go in there. Why is that in there? Oh my god. Happy hacking winter solstice. Happy, happy. Oh, Wims, we did some grinding before. We did some grinding. So we did. Alright, let me go grab some more crystals. But Wims, thank you so much for subscribing for eight months. What the? It's been eight months already. It really doesn't feel like it, I must say. I just know it's my grand's birthday. Oh no! So, well, yeah. What Wim said, my heart's with you. I'm I'm bad with, with um. I I never know how to act around, um, stuff like that. 
um, just because our family aren't very good at um, like coping with grief and knowing how to deal with that. So, but I hope you're okay, Savage. See, I never, I never really know what to say. I do apologize. Um, plus one to magic. Oh my god, Neil. Sort of feels like we're spending on autumn right now. Oh my god. This is some. Um, this is actually tree agate. But it doesn't look like it. I think this is like high. I feel like this is higher quality stuff because the other stuff. Oh, I actually have two, two to show. So this one's like opaque, I guess. Is that the right word to use? And this one's like more translucent. You know what I mean? These are both tree agate. They're both very different. The little string lights. Yes, these are. I bought them. I bought them last night. Or no. The other night I was trying to make my own overlays and it didn't go very well. But wait, the little boy at the bottom, this little boy here, here, I, I, I made the background. I made the background like an all on Canva and that little boy's from Canva. I made my own starting soon thing as well. It's a bit funny. It is a bit funny. Like this is, it's actually kind of hilarious. Um, But I made this on Canva. I mean... made that myself <gasps> julia what the heck welcome in what are you doing what are you doing in here i'm just kidding welcome in yes we're doing tar we we did some grounding and now i'm like cleansing my crystals i haven't actually started doing anyone's tarot cards yet um i will i'll probably do i'll probably do them after this round of crystals actually we'll do it after that we'll do it after that yeah i made that myself i made that myself Well, I didn't actually make, I made it on Canva. They give you the supplies. I just put it together. But I was a wee bit embarrassed, but I showed Mock and she was like, no, use it, use it. And I was like, all right, 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 all right. But I made these borders I didn't make. I bought them off Etsy because I was, I, I, I give up. I give up. And Rat, thank you for the host as well. I appreciate it. And Julia, if it's bedtime for you, is it your bedtime? Is it your sleeps times? Get some slips, get some slips. Emily, hello. Welcome in. Did you get the premium? No, I was using the free version, Mello. I was using the free one. Canva's really good if you're just starting streaming as well. If I wish I had known that and I wouldn't have, like, spent all my money on overlays and stuff. You know? You sleep in feast. Yeah, it is very, very late for you. Well, I think you're in like a night time or you're in a, was it like nocturnal time zone at the minute, right? Which I am really happy about because it means I get to watch your streams while I'm working. So I'm not going to complain about that. This is my, sorry, I should be make it, letting you see, but this is Ocean, Ocean Jasper, the sphere. I think it was spanny if it was probably spanny i mean i spent spent a lot of money on crystals um so yeah okay let me let me start some of the taro um did i cleanse my citron did i cleanse it yeah let me do some of the taro ones um i'm just gonna run these taros through the cinnamon thing here because I, I haven't used these in a while so yeah oh gosh we have quite a few we've quite a few i have quite a few cards to get through i haven't used these ones in a while oh gosh <laughs> oh dear <laughs> not the booba not the booba i'm sorry i'm sure it wasn't that bad for use it's completely fine. <laughs> oh no. I knew it was a bad idea to wear a dress like this. I knew it. <laughs> you missed it again? No, Mello. <laughs> you missed my butt the other day and now you missed my, my booba. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear. I hate being a streamer sometimes. You miss everything. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, sorry, Emily. Yes, so we did some grounding. We did grounding. Um, Mock posted the link. I don't know if she has it handy again. Um, 
And then, um, I didn't show my bank card before anyone tries to watch the VOD. It has expired, so, and I don't think you've seen the whole thing. Um, but yes, we did that grounding video. Um, we did that together, and then I have just started cleansing crystals. You haven't missed much, even though we've been live for an hour. All right, who is first? We have a lot. No, no, don't sit mellow. Okay. Noah, is Noah still here? Noah, if you're still here, let me know, because I don't want to do... Because I can wait until, like, either he comes back, or we can... Noah... Oh, it knows VIP. I don't think Noah's here, so we'll leave it until he comes back. I, it doesn't look like he's here so I'll wait until he comes back and we can we can do his then because I know he requested it an hour ago so well mock was next anyway so we'll do mocks and I'll try and shuffle it like here so I'm just going to ask a general like what is what message do we have for um mock or whoever I'm pulling card for for winter solstice like what message do we have for them for you This is what happens when you aren't actually able to see my hands. Everything falls off. The cards were like, not today. Literally not today. With the room angles different, is it? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I was messing about with my camera and stuff, so it probably, probably is, honestly. I'm sweating, using this is... You know what? Playing games is much easier than doing this. Okay. We're grounded, we're fine. There's a her. chariot but it's reversed oh my cam oh this is going to help because these are like shiny cards and not matte <laughs> Caleb no <laughs> okay so that's a chariot okay where'd my guidebook go this book doesn't do reversals um so maybe we could google it i don't know if we have oh this is a this has a big one though mox so i'll read it out oh sorry pardon me okay oh we could hold it like this maybe while i'm reading it i don't really know maybe just set it here okay um, in this enchanted embroidered forest, little insects break from tradition and have fun building a chariot out of walnut, chariot? Out of walnut shell with acorns for wheels. The caterpillars, the symbol of change and transformation, lead the way for their friend, the ladybird. The ladybird is said to be the embodiment of good fortune, the harb harbinger of vibrant and colourful life filled with joy. The chariot represents taking movement with precise action. There are no reins for the steeds because wit and willpower are used to harness them, not brute force. This card is about moving the mind, body and soul to a better place using our willpower. The shadow of the chariot is not being ab able to start feeling stuck and refusing. Oh, the shadow's the reversal in this, I think. Um, so the shadow of the chariot is not being able to start feeling stuck and refusing to take action. Chariot says any action is better than stagnation. The chariot asks, what can I do to accelerate this? What movement or physical action can I take? So that's a nice one. That is a major. Yeah, you got a major. You got a major arcana. I love that though for you, Mock. Um, I don't, you can't really tell, but it's a ladybug. So this is all embroidered, these tarot cards. These are were embroidered by um, the artist. She's also... Um, is she Wiccan? Or just into witchcraft? I'm not sure. She's... She's into, into it either way. Um, 
either way she's she's into it um and she's also an artist and she's her stuff's amazing it's called embroidered forest if anyone wants to check it out i know my cam isn't really showing you the best sort of vibe for that but yeah i actually don't think that is for the reverse though mock because reverse isn't shadow reverse is not always a shadow so i i wouldn't um go by that you know but i mean sometimes the reversal is is bad isn't it you searched it up oh <laughs> sorry okay next is mellow and noah okay noah has, when noah pops back in someone yell at me um okay mellow mellow are you ready Let me do this closer to use. Okay, what message? Oh, wait, this one? So this is two, four, six of pentacles. I need a better camera, right? We have six of pentacles for you mel pentacles is uh earth element um this one doesn't have any weird names for the suits which is which is nice it's always nice okay i haven't used this book in forever so bear with me till i find everything six of pentacles okay this is a quite short one actually um now it's time to grow from a seed in the dark to the first baby green shoots. You're not all the way out of the darkness, but you're sure beginning to see progress and results in your financial and earthly areas of your life. Um, so that could be um, maybe like family or friendship stability as well. Um, the worst behind you is the worst is behind you. So leave it there and focus on the future. That's your card, Mellow. And it's the Six of Pentacles if you wanted to. To check it out on your own guidebook or um your if you wanted to google it not the tan no why do you have to make it tentacles can't believe you simp over your man nemesis and dvd please <laughs> please okay sorry if that's noisy i do apologize Sorry, not Nemesis, just the tentacles. I mean, I'm not going to kink shame. Okay. Lord. Let's go. Lord, I hope you're ready. Alright, I'm just kidding. That sounded really menacing. That sounded really menacing. Alright. Hmm. Okay, this is the moon reverse by the way if you see me like if you see a card fly out for someone and you see me shake my head or be like no um usually i i'll just feel like it's not it it's not the card that needs to come out um i don't know if anyone else does that when they read their cards um but this is the moon it is reversed as well Lars. um this is a fucking stunning card though oh, fucking hacking shitting This might be a better way to do it right that's a moon it is absolutely stunning i really want a moon tattoo like a full moon anyway i will read it out i will read it out what number's the moon here we go this is a big one sometimes i overthink and then they all yeah if that happens to me i end up shuffling a different way or yeah, pull in, just pull in it differently so I will, you know, the way sometimes I spread all the cards out and feel which one feels right. <gasps> I like RPGs. Lindsay! We play oh my god, happy winter solstice! Hot girl, hello! Shelma, hello! Evergreen Kylie, hello! Welcome, my mother, my Melzy! 
Happy Winter Solstice Autumn. Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh my god. Yes, thank you for shouting out Melzy. I appreciate it. Melzy, how did the rest of stream go? I was there this morning. Tarson, hello, welcome in. How's it going? Welcome in everyone. Yes, we're doing Taro today. I'm a wee bit behind, so if anyone redeems. I'm just, I'm a little bit behind. I'm a little bit behind. But yeah. Welcome in everyone. How's it going? Oh, Rat's got slow mode on. Rat is on this. The mods are on this. Welcome in. How did your stream go? Melzy had amazing games. Every single like event. So for Halloween, Melzy had um loads of different like Halloween games for everyone to play. And now she's got some winter solstice ones up. Literally adorable. Literally adorable. She puts so much work into her stream. So please, please, please go give her a follow if you's, if you don't already follow her. Go give Melzy a hack and follow, honestly, because she's just so she's just so wholesome. Just so wholesome. We chill, we goth. That's Melzy. I'm also <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit nervous now. I'm, I'm I'm actually okay. We did some grinding earlier, so we did some grinding, we did some crystal cleansing. Um so I'm very chill. I'm very chill. And Seth, hello, welcome in. How's it going? Thank you all so much for stopping by. Usually I play um Skyrim or well we started Skyrim again or um what else do we play Dragon Age um I'm not really sure what else it's completely went out of my brain but today we're doing we're doing some some winter solstice things we're just doing some taro in and cleansing my crystals that is such a cute rain message I love it so much and them emotes what the heck they're so they are amazing Melzy makes all her own emotes as well Thanks all our own emotes. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Do not apologize for being late at all, Burr. Burnt or Burr? Burr might be a bit too, is that too, is that too familiar? I'm sorry, but Burr is very cute. If, if that, that is. Okay, Lors, I will read out your, um, your card. I'm so sorry. But also, Melzy, if you need to pop off and get some sleep, um, or start your day. I know you're, you're nocturnal, nocturnal as well. So, yeah. If you need to hop off, anyone who is in um, watching Melzy's stream, if you need to hop off and go get some rest, please, please do so. Um, okay, I will read out your card, Lors. So, in the pitch darkness, your breath puffs around you, creating clouds between you and the moon. Um, she is about illusions, dreams, fantasy, the intangible. Um, Santis and I believe that the moon was originally a piece of the earth detached via a meteorite. She then grabbed dust using her own gravity and became round and smooth over time. Her created creatorous creatorous yeah her creator surface um protects earth from a surprising number of meteorites she symbolizes the nighttime a place of diminished sight and allowing the other senses a chance to get to work her phases remind us to go with the flow and allow change and her light gives us hope in the dark in the dark there is fear of the unknown nightmares and in our sleep but without the dark we wouldn't be able to see the beauty of the moon or marvel at the stars when navigating murky waters, we need a map, and when those waters are the sky and dark lands, the map is the moon, Our Lady Luna. The moon asks, what do I feel What do I feel about this, and what is hidden from me? So, um, obviously that is your card, but it was reversed, so um, check out the reversals, maybe on the tarot guide, if you, or your own, you have a tarot deck, right, Lord? You can check out your own, what it, what it means in that too. I'll be looking for food, but I'll have you on the background. Thank you so much, Melzy. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, if anyone wants, if anyone wants a tarot, I think they're only three, three hundred. Um, feel free. I'm a little bit behind. How far am I behind? Oh no, I'm not actually. We only have three more to do. So if anyone else wants a winter solstice tarot, feel free. Feel free to request one. Okay. Who was next? Emily? Emily is still here, right? Yeah, Emily oh, Emily was. Emily was. Okay. Emily, then Sophie, and then Hims. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Emily, let's see what we have for you then. The incense has hit me right in the face, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm choking. All right, Let's see Emily. What do we What do we feel about this music? I'm. I need better. We need We need different We need different stuff. What else do we have? 
What's this, Kama Winter? Is this more chill? It's very quiet. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Charlie, hello, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming off. Yes, turn slow mode off. Yeah, that'll be grand. Thank you. Okay. Emily, I'm sorry. Let's go. What message do we have for you? For winter solstice. Ace of Cups. Oh, this way we were doing this way, weren't we? Because it was night. It was the camera is worse quality, but you can actually see the card a bit better. I think this is like a swan in the middle, embroidered, and then we have I don't know. I think they're supposed to rep represent the cups. They're like lily pads and stuff. So this is what we have. I'll read it out for you. And it wasn't reversed. Um. So that's handy. Cups. So cups usually represent, so they're a water, a water element, they usually represent emotions, love. The Ace of Cups, right? Okay. The Ace of Cups is possibly one of the most beautiful cards within Tarot. The Ace of Cups brings abundance of love, laughter and happiness. The every opportunity to find these things presents itself to you when you hold the Ace of Cups. Want a date to go well? Carry the Ace of Cups. I don't know why that advice is in there, Emily. I mean, I know you've got Bo, but, you know, maybe a date with Bo, maybe? But yeah, the fact this is one of the most um beautiful, did it say beautiful cards or lovely cards? Yeah, it said beautiful card. I love that for you, Emily. But yeah, check that out on your own deck or your own, um, or the tarot thing for more detail. Because obviously these are quite small. These are very short descriptions that we have. Um, but it's very nice. It's very nice. I'm gonna have to shoot off and go back to work. Oh, Caleb, I'm, I hope you're keeping well. And yes, get go back to work. I hope, I hope it flies in. I hope it flies in. That's so lovely. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. But yes, um, more detail will obviously be on the tarot guide, which is my favourite, favourite place. I probably, I probably could have read out everyone's on the tarot guide, actually. I could have done that. Rat, thank you for the lurk. I actually could have done that. Okay, we have Emily's, Wim's, and Sophie's left. But yeah, I'm not sure how long stream will be today. I mean, we still have a lot of, um... We still have a lot of uh, crystals to cleanse, so. Okay, Sophie. And then if anyone sees Noah pop back in, give me a yell and I'll, I'll do his as well. Okay, Sophie, let's see. Is Sophie here actually? Let me just double check if Sophie's still here. That might be a good idea. I don't wanna, I don't want, want them to miss it. You're here, you're here. Okay, that's good. All right, yes, and Wims. Wims is after Sophie. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, that one really flew out at me, so I'm gonna... This is the two of cups. I'm not sure if that was reversed or not, the way that flung out, so I'm just gonna read it as upright. But if you wanna check out the... If you wanna Google it or something, feel free. Um, for the reversal, but I, I feel like upright for this one. So that's two of cups. Leave that there. I like it when they fly out at me like that. Let's see. Yes, Mal will get home safe. Sorry, I'm not used to this guidebook. It's been a while since I've used the stack. Okay, so the two of cups. Um, the two of cups denotes a choice in love um two suitors perhaps or are you in a relationship and asking a question relating to it then this means a happy compromise made between the couple uh so maybe there's two conflicting things um 
It is an experience of sharing and growing. Of course, this card could be talking about our internal world and the love we hold for ourselves. This card is an opportunity um, to practice a little calming self-care and enjoy your own company. So that's your card. It's two, two of cups, Sophie. So yeah, it could be two, two, two people regarding two people or it could be about um, there is a question in your relationship that, that there needs to be a compromise for. I know the little bird that was from Canva. I got all this, all this free from Canva, except for the obviously the lights and the thing. The starting soon night, it was completely Canva. And thank you for that follow as well. All right, let's do whimsies. I feel like I'm zooming through these. I feel like I'm zooming. Six of, is that wands? Six of wands? Is what whims is, whims is, whims is. Got a little fox in these sunflowers. So these are all embroidered. I know I've said this like 10 million times, but these are embroidered. Like she embroidered these and then like scanned her hoop and then turned them into like tarot cards. She's freaking amazing. Thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, they are gorgeous. Okay, so the sunflowers are wands. Isn't that freaking adorable? Wands, okay. So six of wands. So the six of wands is all about external, the outside feel of one's life rather than the intricacies of how it feels. This can be good and bad. On the other hand, everyone likes a little public acknowledgement of their achievements, but too much can stroke your ego and make a monster out of us. Accept compliments with a thank you and a smile and take an honest look at constructive criticism, but overall learn to detach from any external opinion and focus on your own values. Maybe someone's um, button in too much into your, or giving to their opinions too much into your, um, your work or your whatever is important to you. And maybe it just seems like focus on your own values and don't actually listen to them as much. And going for a walk is still like, enjoy your walk, Charlie. Thank you so much for stopping by. And thank you for that follow as well. Really? You do, Wims? Okay. Well, I'm glad it I'm glad it resonated with you, but um I hope I hope that it's not bothering you too much. Oh, does Emily know? Oh my god, Emily knows. I'm sorry about the Santa hat, it's a bit of a mess. So yeah, we, we have done those. I still have a lot of crystals to cleanse. We have a lot of crystals to cleanse still. So we'll do that. Do you do, we do we do tarot um at the start of every stream. Um I would do like a little card pull. Um these are winter, so these usually I just like um ask what kind of message for the person, but today I'm like thinking of like winter solstice vibes for them. Um but yeah, I do I do them every stream, yeah, at the start of every stream. We pull some we pull some tarot cards and at the end if anyone wants them but usually it, that never usually happens but i'm happy to pull them at the end of streams as well but obviously this we're doing them all stream today because i've never i've never done a tarot stream um i would love to do like a learn tarot with me one where we like take notes on the cards and stuff i think that would be amazing i'd love to do my own tarot guidebook and like the vibes i get from the cards as well um because there's a lot of information out there, but Emily knows all. Emily does know all. But yes, if anyone wants one, feel free. Redeem away. We'll be doing them throughout the stream. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna... You would love to see that, really, Emily? I'd love to do it for my crystals as well. I would love to do that. Okay, should we put some of these ones away? I'm worried about this one rolling off the desk. The Jasper. I love it. And this one is um begins with an S. Serpent sip something. I love it. It's green. It's very light as well. And this is black moonstone again. I love it. <gasps> You'll get oh my god, amazing. I would love to do a little reading for you, um, Evergreen Kylie. 
If you want, I can do one for you now, even if you don't have enough channel points. I'm happy to do one. Happy to pull a uh, Winter Solstice card for you. I'll go put these back. I'll grab some more crystals and then we'll see. Oh yeah, I'm not redeeming one for you as well, but I don't mind just just doing one. I'm I'm happy to do that if you would like, or if you have if or if you would rather wait, that's completely fine too. Do not worry. Gotta cleanse these ones. These are my red ones. Um, these are my red ones. I can that I I used so this desk actually used to be um where I did my makeup, um, like got ready for the day um, and I would have had all my like confidence crystals and, and whatnot on, on there um, but obviously I use it for streaming now so I don't really have anything like that I just, this little box, oh, you can't see my boxes today but I do have little boxes that I put my crystals in that I get, like the wall shelves oh so you would like one Evergreen Kitty or Ki I'm so sorry, Evergreen Kylie I'm sorry that I'm calling you Evergreen Kitty. I will, I will, I will put a card for you. This is cleanse, we don't really need that here. Let's see. Oh, okay. This is, oh wow. This is a, this is a heavy one. So this is the tar, um, it's major, major arcana as well. Seth, thank you so much for the follow, welcome in. Um, so let me read this out because it's, it can be seen as a pretty, a pretty heavy one. So I'll read it out, but do not worry, it is not, it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's a bad card. So, Ah, uh, that foreboding tree, the clouds in the distance, the place you don't want to go but can find no other way around. The tar stands before you in all her reckless glory. Often the tar can look scary when it pops up in a reading. Most people accept, expect some big old lightning bolt to strike them down. But I'd like to suggest a new way of looking at the tar. What if you are the lightning? What if you strike at the parts of your life that need to be changed? A dramatic change can be a good thing. A new job, a sudden engagement or a move could fall, all fall under the tar's work. See how the bottom of the cards shows fresh life? Yes, the tree was struck and broken half, but new life has made a way to the slither, made its way to slither and crawl and grow back in. So the new time, the next time the, par, the tar pops up for you, don't let fear stand in your way. Instead, say heck yeah and get to zapping. The tar asks, what needs to change? What needs to change like yesterday? Where do I need to be blunter and more forceful to see um, change in this situation? So that's a really, really great card. And I love the way she's interpreted the tar, the way the the artist has done it. Like, oh, I think that's amazing. Um, a really great card as well. Um, but yeah, it seems like there are... There are things that you need to, that you may want to change in your life. They're not working for you right now. Um, and the tar, the way this, this, um, tar reader and artist is it is that you're, you're the lightning bolt that does that rather than it happening to you. You're doing it instead. Yeah, I really love how she interpreted that. Oh, amazing. And there's little mushrooms on the tree. Oh, I love it. But yeah, really, really nice card, Kelly. Really nice. Wet my cloth a bit. Anyone that's just coming in, I'm just cleansing my crystals with um, some water that has like a tiny bit of rosemary essential, essential oil in it. Just a little bit of essential oil. Um... 
just a little bit um i i sometimes i smoke cleanse but to be honest i prefer water cleansing and it could just be because um i'm, I'm a water sign that's what i prefer oh, thank you kelly and you too you too so these are all my red crystals my confidence ones my happy ones yeah, I love them. I have a lot more, actually. This is Goldstone. So this is Mammy, but I love Goldstone a lot. Um, this is Carnelian. Oh, my favourite for confidence. I think this is, very, this is a very good stone for fire signs as well. Um, I, I don't know if it's one of their birth stones, but it is a fiery, a fiery um, crystal. I think it's element as far as well, actually. And this is my other car. This is my favorite carnelian, and I'll show you why. Because I feel like it looks like Sauron's eye from Lord of the Rings. Right? Like, this is Sauron. Like, hold on. What way am I going? I just feel like it looks like Sauron's eye from Lord of the Rings. I just love it so much. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I think, but that's the thing though, Emily, I think we're attracted to things that um, maybe we aren't like or we need more of. So for water, maybe maybe because you're a fire sign, you might want to be more maybe emotional because all we do is cry. <laughs> no, maybe more like common or something maybe because water is quite common. And for fire, maybe I need... I don't know. Although my Mars is a fire sign. It'd be interesting to see what are your other what are your other placements, Emily? Do you know what your Mars and your Venus is? Are you, do you know what those are? I should have got like a bucket soap for me to like lift my crystals. I think I have some more over here as well, actually. I have a lot of crystals. But yeah, that is quite, a, that is an interesting, an interesting thing to notice for sure that it's, we're sort of attracted to the opposite of us. <gasps> You're Pisces vegan. Oh, Pisces vegan? A Pisces Venus. There we go. That could be why then. Because Venus is all about your relationships and love as well. So it makes sense. Oh, we're keeping these two out. These, go, these two crystals stay on my tarot card. My tarot uh, decks, the ones I'm most actively using. It says on my personal one, actually, the one I, I don't really use for stream anymore. So I'm just going to pop them back on there. I just keep them on top of it to protect it, really. Oh my god, Kylie, what the heck? Thank you so much for the subscription. Why didn't that come up in chat? Has it come up in chat? Oh, I was a bit early. I was a bit early. Thank you so much for subscribing to it. What the heck? Thank you so much i appreciate it could you hear the sound alert okay that's a dragon age that's a dragon age um sound alert so it is i love it so much yeah we heard it. okay that's good because i did make a new i did make a new scene for today um like a few new scenes because these are like obviously not my normal overlays so i was kind of worried that nothing would work so that's good but thank you so much for subscribing it what the heck you're for you just got here and you're subscribing. I I have no words. I genuinely have no words. I'm just going to go get more crystals. what I kind of want okay we don't really have that many more crystals I want cleansed some of them I, I will never use so I just I don't know if I'll cleanse them it would be good for me to organize them and maybe like do some little giveaways or something for ones I don't want anymore or that just I just don't vibe with anymore that might be nice your are sun your rising is Taurus oh same we have the same rising sign what the heck your moon is in Pisces and Virgo Mars. I love it. 
So you have quite a bit of everything in there. A lot of earth. Yeah, you've got a lot of earth, Emily. Maybe that's why I just find you so relaxing. I just want to know every single person that I've ever spoke to. Um, big three. Sorry. I want to know their big three and their, um, their Mars and Venus because I'm obsessed. This is Argonite. It looks very otherworldly, doesn't it? I think it's Argonite. Can't remember. I think so. But yeah, Emily, there's a lot of earth in there. I love it. I love it. I can't believe we have the same rising signs. Because I think we're very different. We're very different. But I love that, that we have the same rising. Rising's like how other people per perceive you, I think, or the way you are towards others. This is Flory. I'm, I don't vibe with Flory ever. I think it's good for studying. And a lot of people, I was um, getting crystals for my sister when she started her own business. And um, people said that it's very good for small businesses as well, like manifesting business goals. Um, I, I just can never connect with that crystal ever. And this is um, heat treated citron, heat, heat treated amethyst. I still call it citron because I still love it. Um, I feel like the, the heat treat, treated citron makes me feel very happy well, these are the differences but the natural citron is very grounding this is natural this is heat treated stuff all right very different as well i love this is going to be a very stinky cloth by the end of this a very stinky cloth but yeah i don't really think about what we would be doing after I cleanse all my crystals and after we've done all the cards, I didn't really consider that. I just wanted to chill, to be honest. I just wanted to have a chill stream with you all. Just vibing, you know. Uh, this is orange calcite and it's actually, it actually has like a juicy sort of... It kind of would remind you of an orange, right? I haven't cleansed this as well. This is my my green moonstone. I love it. And then what else we got in here? We have other crystals. Oh, I could cleanse this big, big boy. This is my big boy. Obviously we have the ones up here. You just can't really see them now though because of the the lights, but there are ones up there, but I will leave them up there. My big boy. It is I'm I'm feeling very chill too, Emily. I'm feeling very chill. Uh this is smoky quartz with um iron inclusions in it. Oh, you can sort of see the orange. I thought the orange was like this is what really drew me to this crystal. It was really, really expensive and I wasn't going to buy it because it was so expensive. Um, but the shop owner had it up for sale and it was just going for so long and it was on sale for so long. And I was like, you know what? If that crystal doesn't sell out by, and I set myself like a date, I was like, if no one buys it by then, it obviously has to go to me, right? One of your plants is suffering. What's What's wrong with it? I don't know the difference between any of them. I don't know any plants. I kill all plants I own, so I mean, not really, not really the best when it comes to plants. I'm really bad. That's not very earth earthy of me at all. But I'm I'm very bad with plants. All of mine are dying. All of my plants are dying. It needed water, and I couldn't see it because my monster covers it. Oh no! I hope it's okay though. I hope it's okay. Let me move. I need to look at my mouse. Oh, I love this one as well. I think this is red, red tiger's eye. 
It doesn't look look very red on camera, but it is like a dark, a dark red. I love it. You mute. I could do my own. Um, I could do my own Yule spread. What? But I don't know how. I'm not sure how I feel about doing that because it's very personal, but. I'm not sure. I feel like I could do that. I feel like I could. Okay, let's go put these ones back. Put these back where they belong. I want. I was going to put them all in a like a bucket and bring them over, but I knew I'd forget where everything goes, so I didn't really want to do that. Let's go put these back. But yeah, I hope I hope your plant's okay after being watered more. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not gone. Just get the rest of these ones. These ones over. I went extra shopping yesterday and bought myself a snake plant. Do you know what? My snake plant's probably the one that's lasted me the hacking longest. Yeah, my, my snake plant just, oh, I love my snake plant so much. I love it. I was thinking about it. so I have this little plate. Um I will show you is it. So this is like what I usually do like seasonal stuff on. Um and just keep some certain crystals on. So I have my hags hagstone on it. One of my favourite hagstones. I have a few. Um some hematite. I must have been feeling hematite at the time. Some natural citron, um, and some just plain old quartz for for energy really. So I'm gonna cleanse this and maybe put some yule. Um, that's not on my screen. Some yule sort of um inspired crystals. We'll check our little notebook I was reading out, and we'll we'll put some of those on. I've always cleansed my crystal stones and full moon evenings. Incense, Palo Santo. Um, I shoot with rainwater. Oh no! Recently, I've been able to cleanse more. Um, my home, the energy in my home completely changed. Really? What if you try? Um, if you try moon moon water, if you like doing it on full moon evenings, some some moon water might be nice. Um, I don't I don't use um smudge, and I don't because it is um. Native American and I, I don't want to um, appropriate or use someone else's um, thing in any way. And Palo Santo, I don't like to use either because I think it's Southern American's um, practice. But I do like to use rosemary because it's from, it's from everywhere. I love rosemary. So I would burn some rosemary maybe, um, burn some incense as well. But water's amazing, water's amazing for it. Um... I use water too. Look at the dirt. Look at the dirt to this. I think it's antique, so I don't want to rub at it too much. I just do a little bit because this is anti I got this off a antique shop, so I don't want to um an antique Etsy, so I don't want to ruin it. Look how beautiful it is. Whoa. Yes, I love it. Yes, that's that's why I like it. Sage is like is a complete wipe, right? So that's why I don't like to use sage. Um, either. Okay, so we're still going to have the citron on there. For sure. Maybe not my big boy. Not my big boy. You know what? I'm going to take the quartz off, I think. 
My friend boiled some oranges and ro oh my god, that, yes I've heard of people doing that, I would love to try that out too, Emily. But yeah, some moon water might be, might be a really nice thing for you, Kaylee, if you, Kaylee, sorry, if you like um, water cleansing, that would be amazing for you. This is my favourite pendulum, by the way, this is my Labradorite one. I hack and love it so much. It's so, so pretty. Oh, it's my fave. Sorry, I don't know how I'm going to show you. It's this easy. It's beautiful. I always keep it in on my wee tray. Is that on my tray? I don't know what these were there for. It's been a while since I've used it, so let's take them off. They're little florid pieces from the looks of it. Don't know what I was, I was trying to manifest that day okay so what crystals do we have so it says on my little booklet i have that the gems or crystals that are good for yule is um excel Alexand alexandre i don't think i have any of that amethyst bloodstone blue topaz cat's eye citron clear quartz diamond emerald garnet goldstone i have some goldstone moss agate Onyx, Ruby, Snowflake, Obsidian. Oh, we have some Snowflake Obsidian. Oh, <laughs> we have some Snowflake Obsidian. Snow Quartz, um, Tanzanite, Tiger's Eye, Turquoise, or Zircon. Let me whip out all my diamonds. Yeah, that one was a bit weird, right? Not a bit weird, but a bit of a... A bit of an odd one to throw in there, but... Okay, so I think I'm going to grab some Bloodstone, Citrin... I think I'm going to grab some moss agate, my snowflake obsidian, what else do I need? Moss agate, what else do I need to grab? I have my citron here so I can put it on there. I'm going to get a smaller clear quartz, you know. Um, okay. Snowflake obsidian and I'll grab some moss agate and I think that will, that will be enough, right? I have my snowflake obsidian here. I might have a smaller piece I might actually look for as well. Yeah, let's just whip out all our diamonds. Surely we have loads, right? Oh wait, we might be... What? We might actually have some in our little... My little crystal... Crystal thing I... I have here. Yeah, there's some moss agate there. Some clear quartz. We have some bloodstone. Here. I like this one. Um, I think I have a smaller snowflake obsidian in here somewhere. Let's see. I don't know if this sound is annoying or not. I do apologize. There we are. There she is, a wee baby. A wee baby snowflake obsidian. Yeah, because I like to keep this one on my taro. So I'm not, I don't want to use that one. The Christmassy crystals apparently. Hack if I know. Hack if I know. What do I know? And amethyst, I'm not going to put on it because um, I just... I don't ever vibe with amethyst. Um, I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. I don't really... I don't vibe with it at all. I don't know why. I simply do not know but I know a lot of people do and it is very good for I think people use it for like common sort of vibes right and we have colors green yellow gold red silver and white plants for decoration incense allspice bay birch carway cedar chamomile cinnamon cloves I don't really have access down to my herbs right now, so I'm just going to leave it like this. This one. And like, usually I do my own little, um, uh, orange slices and apple slices and stuff. But, um, yeah, like I said, um, I don't know if, if, um, anyone's heard me say it before, but it's been a while since I've been like really into, into, Ever since I started streaming, my my like spiritual journey has sort of been 
on hold a little bit and I think it's just because I don't have a lot of space in my room now um and it makes me really sad my favorite crystal is natural citron it has to be it's so common it's so grounding I love it I love it my friend loves amethyst and they're really connected yeah I think mock loves amethyst and I love citron which is really funny to me because they're I kind of see them as sister crystals anyway because they come from quartz um so yeah I just I just like that selenite I love selenite as well I love selenite too I, I haven't shown any selenite today because um I I don't cleanse my selenite um and also it can't be put near water so if you ever have selenite please don't put it in water because it will disintegrate but this is one of my selenites that I keep on my desk I have a moon shaped one and a sphere as well I don't know if you can see them over there let me see no you can't really see them from here you can't really see them but I do I have a few more a few more bits of selenite I should have put um oh this is probably something you just haven't really seen on stream but this is my incense burner which I fucking love it's a moon it comes out the top here all the smoke I don't have any cones handy on me right now but that's my burner I love it selenite is Emily I love selenite so much I love it it's my fave let me just actually see what this taro spread is at the back see I was thinking about if I could do a taro spread for like a general um taro spread for the community um but I don't know how that would work like if we just did a taro spread for just like the community if that makes sense I think I'd have to go with moonstone but also blue lace agate I, I like the, I like both of those as well I love citron's definitely my favorite but I love them as well I do but I, I'm, I'm not sure how I would do the if I was doing one for the community especially this one here that I have so the questions are how can I celebrate myself um during Yule um what needs to be acknowledged how should I embrace it what needs to be released how do I let it go and a Yuletide message I live near the states near the Appalachian Trail my mother-in-law is full York Native American oh I love that oh yeah that's so lovely Kelly My friends come over always comment on how wonderful they feel i love that i love that i post a different spread in the discord too if you want to see that one. Oh, that one would be nice let me have a look let me have a look yeah i'm not sure if i want to I, I just don't know how i feel if how that would work for everyone if i did one for everyone where did you post it Ah, here we go. Oh, that one's beautiful. Winter Solstice Tower spread. Which outlook has served me best? Which viewpoint could use more work? Which approach hasn't worked? And which should be left behind? Which actually should work best? And which should be carried forward? That one's really nice as well. Liminal 11 posted for that. I love it. Oh, and this um, book I have, which I've been getting a lot of my Yule info from today, is from um, a witchy shop that I, that I love. Um... It's called Hers Emporium. It's a UK based store, so. Ooh! Chub Hot Chalky would be nice, Bok. I would love that. Thank you. But yeah, that's where I've been getting this from. Yeah, maybe I will. Let, do you know what? Maybe I'll just do a, a, my own personal one. And you can. Um, you can. Do your own with me if you would like to. But I think it would be nice for me to for me to do my own personal personal spread too, right? It's been a while since I've did a personal one for myself, and it might be a good opportunity to do this on stream. We'll see. Oh, that oracle! That oracle's beautiful, Mark. Yeah, let's do that. I would have liked some candles here, but I'm wait. We actually might be able to put a candle here, you know. 
I'm just worried about, uh, like, heat being near my, like, setup. This one should be fine here. This one should be okay here. Yeah, that looks nice and cosy, right? Okay, yeah, let me do my own spread and then I'll just see where it goes. If anyone else wants a reading as well or a, a card pull, I should say, not a reading. Um, feel free. I, okay, let's go. How can I celebrate myself? Okay, so the first one. god oh i thought it was the queen of swords my favorite card okay so i got the knight of swords reversed for how can i celebrate myself what needs to be acknowledged oh we got one the king of wands okay we're, we're getting some masculine vibes here i love it Okay, so how should I embrace what needs to be acknowledged? So how can I embrace the King of Wands? Uh, that is the Nine of Pentacles also reversed. Okay, what do I need to release? The whole deck apparently. I am so sorry if this is very noisy. I do apologize. I hope it's sort of ASMR-y. That's what I was kind of hoping for. But if it isn't, I'm sorry. Okay, what do I need to release? Page of Wands. Mello, hello. I'm just doing a tarot spread for myself, a little Yule one. What do I need to release? You know what? You know what I could actually do? I know I'm sort of breaking my flow here. But if, if anyone would want me to read out or to do their own like full spread of this as well, maybe I could make it like a wee bit more expensive. Or if only a few people wanted it. I could do the whole spread for someone someone else. I mean... I think I could do that on stream if you if you wanted that if anyone was interested if no one is that's completely fine but if anyone was um, maybe I could make a, a channel point redemption or if only a few people want it maybe I won't need to have a channel point redemption if that makes sense okay how do I let go what needs to be released okay we got the eight of pentacles we got a lot of earth in here some fire we actually have a wee bit of everything except for water which is very strange for me okay what is my yuletide message for myself what is my yuletide message for myself yuletide message for myself okay so that's four cups reversed not no major arcana which is a very strange thing for me usually i a spread of mine will like likely always have a major arcana in it the stream jumping oh no mark i'm so sorry that's probably my bad that that you're just jumping let me just pull myself up a little Mallow, you would like one? Well, I will do one for Mallow and then we'll see what we're like time-wise after I do my own. And then um, we'll, um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're just vibing today. I kind of just won it today. Okay. 
So we had the Knight of Swords. Let me take a photo of this actually. Let me take a photo of it so I can double check it after, especially with the reversals. Okay. So I got the Knight of Swords, like all court cards. This tower represents a real person in your life. Um, knights are teens, re restless and energetic. They are incredibly passionate and sometimes a little ta tatchy. The words of this person will have meaning to you right now. Listen carefully, they may be pointing you in the right direction without them even knowing. So that's about how I can celebrate myself. I'm not really sure how that fits in to... Um, I'm not sure how that one fits in, so I'm actually gonna here we go. Um Knight of Swords. Let's see. Reversed. So it's saying missed opportunities, out of your depth, out of control, left behind, rude, tactless, hurtful. Okay, general context, Knight of Swords can a big change or opportunity you've been waiting for for quite some time has come your way. You're failing to recognize it or seize it. Not ready to jump on or that you're out of your depth. Whatever the case, this card tells you. If, if you miss this opportunity, you will get left behind. Okay, it can be um, represent being out of control. Signify being insecure, insincere, self-obsessed, rude and tactless. Remember to be mindful of the words you use and their facts on others. Sometimes I do find myself not um, thinking before I speak when I'm talking to people. So that is, that could be quite a thing. And, uh, oh, that's more of my hot chalky. That's more hot chalky. Oh, wow, we got whipped cream on that. Oh my God. No, you just don't even understand. Look at this whipped cream. Am I supposed to drink it? No. What am I supposed to do with the whipped cream? Just put that there. Just, I'll just set it there. I don't know how I'm supposed to drink it. I'm excited though. So yeah, the missed opportunity thing is actually resonating me most with me most here. Um, because this morning I was actually looking at, um, we got an email for funded PhDs coming through. And I said that I I wasn't so before streaming and and before this year actually um not before streaming um but maybe during the year I I kind of decided that I wasn't sure if I wanted to apply for any PhDs because it's just too much for me so maybe it's saying to at least consider those opportunities that are coming my way I'm not really sure okay. My next one was what needs to be acknowledged and that was the king of wands and mellow if the tarot guide give you a different interpretation and you like this one better it's that's the whole thing so you'll find different interpretations of the card and it's just whatever one you vibe with because it's at the end of the day it's your card you know what part of your life or or, or what it refers to um so yeah you just give me more hope and, it, and that's that's the most important thing then. That is the most important thing. King of Wands. We got the King of Wands. So the King of Wands, like all other court cards, this tar represents a real person. Kings are grown men, fathers and grandfathers. They represent masculine inside of their suit. What was this? What needs to be acknowledged? Um, they have the ones with most charisma and best jokes, instantly likable. The words of this person have meaning to you right now. Listen, Carver may point you in a direction without them even knowing. Okay, that could be something that needs more knowledge. That could be a person. I'm thinking that might be a person in my life. Um, maybe a masculine person in my life who I'm maybe not paying as much attention to as I should be. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that, but thanks for calling me out on that. <clears throat> um, how should I embrace? Okay. Something similar happening to me in a way it's a sign if it's meant to be it'll come round again when you're ready. Yeah, exactly. Mock drop the recipe to be honest. This is our good deal. Hello, welcome in.
Oh my god. This is hot orange hot chocolate. Oh. Amazing. Okay. How can I embrace it? So this is the nine of pentacles. Let me... Deal, oh my god, you got Mark in that sub. <laughs> Deal, what? Why? What the heck? Thank you so much. Deal. You know, that makes up for work not to have me a Christmas hamper because there's no vegan option. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Deal. I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're keeping well. Merry winter, miss. Thank you, Deal. What the heck? You did not need to do that, by the way. I will literally bop you. Vegan whipped cream, well, it's not like sour or anything, obviously. Okay, what, do I, what am I looking for? Nine of Pentacles. And Molly, welcome in. How's it going? Um, Let's get the Nine of Pentacles up. So the Nine of Pentacles, I got it reversed and it's something that I need to embrace. Um, Nine of Pentacles indicate a lack of independence, confidence, freedom, security or stability. Um, it can signify someone may be trying to get rewards without putting the work in. You get what you want out of life so you need to put the effort in. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> This hacking thing moved. This used to sit on this little plaque. It's just a little flower. I thought it was a fucking spider. Oh, anyway. It warns you that remember that material possessions are not the key to happiness. Putting all your focus on them will cause people to become superficial and come across as cheap, shallow, or tacky. Okay, working hard and wondering in life. Oh no, to the detriment of other areas. This is calling me out on uni stuff, big time. Um, it's calling me out on not putting the work in on uni. Um, working hard in another area of life to the detriment of others. I mean, we all know I, I focus on Twitch and literally nothing else in my life, so yeah. So there's that. Um... Okay, what needs to be released? Age of Wands. Ah, uh, like all other cart cards, this cart cards. Court cards, this tar represents a real person in your life. Pages are young, often children. This person is full of zest in their life. They radiate happiness with every laugh and smile. Or does this person have meaning to you right now? I love the all of mine. So that needs to be released. Okay, that doesn't really make sense, that one. That's one I'm going to have to look at after. But a lot of these cards are about people. And I, I kind of like that because it's like, obviously, it's the winter solstice coming up to Christmas. And having a lot of people ones. Um, Yeah, it's quite nice. You got it. Oh my god, I asked for it for Christmas, Molly. I asked for it for Christmas. Okay, so the how do I let it go is net eight of pentacles reversed. Anyone just coming in? I decided to just do my own tarot spread while I was like just I mean we were only been streaming for two hours, so I'm just kinda trying to think of more things we could do. So I thought, why not do one for myself, like an actual spread? Um, the Eight of Pentacles reversed indicates laziness, idleness, carelessness, lack of effort or poor concentration. Those are all my middle names. I don't know what you're on about. Um, it can indicate focusing on one area to an extreme that you neglect other areas of your life. 
Jesus Christ, give me a break. Neglecting your love life or family? Oh my. I didn't ask for this today. I didn't fucking ask for this today. Okay, next. Um, a Yuletide message is to, is four of cups reversed. <laughs> oh no, let me see. We don't perceive. No, ew, no, I don't like this site. Where's my the tarot bed? Here we go. Okay, this is reversed too. You're putting yourself out of the rut you've been in. You're, you may have previously felt stagnant. It's coming to an end. It represents leaving regrets, remorse, and wish, wishful thinking in the past. Focusing on the present and moving forward in a positive direction. That's really good because obviously I've been stressed quite lately and after, obviously all these things have had impacts. Um, you need to take a proactive approach and make things happen. So it seems I just need to get on with it pretty much. Oh, you may be letting go of patterns or people in your life that are no longer good for you. I like it. Cheeky sneaky hello, welcome in. La Sorry if I missed any messages. Yes, anyone who wants like a one car winter solstice pool, um, feel free to request one. Um, I might... Because we've only been live for two hours. I would like to go on for at least like another hour. At least another hour. So I might make the full spread a... I might do a full spread if anyone wants. Um, and I'll, I'll make it... Um, how many channel points should I make it for the full spread? What do you reckon? I'll do yours for you now. The one pull, Molly. Or would you how, how, how many channel how many channel points do you think I should make the full spread? What do you reckon? Because I think I I will I don't know. I have 9.5. I don't think I would make it that expensive. Do you think maybe like a thousand five hundred? Or is that too low or too high? Obviously I'll put a limit on it. How long does that take me to read my own? Um, say it takes me 15 minutes per person, I reckon it'll maybe take 15, 20, so. Should we do three? I'll do, I think I'll do three. I'll do three. Okay, so let me, let me just make it a thousand and I'll do a limit three. So I'm going to add it and then full, I'll do, I'll name it Yule spread. Uh, but I'm, I'm not a professional tarot reader, so I would never, never, um, I'll make it 1.5. And I'm going to put it on, like, literally right now, so anyone who wants it. I think, Mo is it Molly and Mel so far? So we'll, we'll do three. Oh. Yeah, is that... Did you want a full spread, Molly, as well? Anyway, I've, I've, I've been putting it on now, so if anyone wants it, redeem, and we I will I will do that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It just means that, like, in case I just... Because obviously I would happily do yours, both of yours without doing things, but it just means if anyone else comes in, we can be like, okay, there's one space left. Oh, God, I've dropped all my cards. Bear with. I have to, I have to, go, I have to go down. Oh my god, you can see me. Hello? Hello? Hackies. 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 I'm gonna burn myself. I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. Okay. Oh wait, so I can give Molly... Molly, I'll give your one card pull back. Um, Let's reject that and give... Molly or one card, put it back because we're going to do the full Yule spread. Okay. So who, who do we get first? 
Molly. Not the furries. No. <laughs> Why you do this? Why did you do this to me? Tell me. Also, if anyone wants to know, we have some hot chocolate. Oh, it looks kind of gross now. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So this is the spread that I'll be doing. So I'll be asking, how can I celebrate myself? So it'll be, how can Molly celebrate herself? Uh, what needs to be acknowledged? How should you embrace it? What needs to be released? How do you let go? And a Yuleted message. Um, so like a Christmas message, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Okay, any reversals, I'll read off the tarot guide. Um, but the rest, I think I'll read from here. And then... Okay. Not with the furries and furries. You just bully me. Okay. Let me just knock them a little bit because we we've had a lot of a lot of energy into these today. Not the popcorn. <laughs> my back's kind of sore. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So I had a goal. I had a goal. A numbers goal which I don't really have normally or I try not to look at I, I try not to look at twitch stats and I had a numbers goal that I wanted to hit before the end of the year and because of Melzi's hack and raid we've almost hit it so I wanted to hit 20k twitch views by the end of the year and we're currently on 19.9 that is fucking amazing 19,952 what the fuck? Oh my god. Melzi, thank you so much. I'm sure Melzi's slipping now or eating or, or or vibing, but that's amazing. It was it's just a goal I had. I just thought it would be a nice nice number to have. Can I refresh a bunch of times? I don't know if it works like that. I don't know if that's how it works. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Molly. We're thinking about Molly. Okay. So how can Molly celebrate herself? Oh, no, they weren't right. They weren't right. There was like 60 minutes. No, 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 no. We go back, we go back, we go back. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. So I'm going to place those down. We'll look at both of them. We'll look at them both. Um, okay, what, what Molly needs to acknowledge? This one, okay. We had another sword to pop out. We also have... That one felt better. Okay, so how, how can she embrace it? I can Molly embrace what needs to be acknowledged. to be released what should she release oh wow okay yes that's the word reversed okay how can she let this go the emperor and a yuletide message from all Oh, holy hacking hackies. Holy hackies. We have a lot of majors. Um, we have four major arcanas in this. Hack. Okay. 
Okay, let's let's dig into this. Um, autumn take over comment. No, definitely not. Um, your Twitch journey makes me emo. It makes me emo. Um, I feel like sometimes I don't appreciate the journey, but sometimes I'm like, what has even happened? Honestly, we're we'll be having our one year anniversary stream on the fourth of January because that'll be my my one year on Twitch. Don't know what we're doing for. I do have an announcement. Nothing like huge or anything. Um, well, I'm very excited for it, but I do have an announcement. Um, I will be doing then. Um, but that's what I'm saying on that because you know I can't keep secrets. Anyway, okay. So Molly, for your how you can celebrate yourself, you got two of cups and knight of wands. So let's read those out. The two of cups and knight of wands. I want to read the two of cups out first because it was first. So. Or sorry, the Two of Cups. Yeah, yeah. So Two of Cups, um, it denotes a choice in love. Two suitors, perhaps. Or if you're in a relationship and asking a question related to it, then this means a happy compromise made between you. And it's an experience of sharing and growing. Of course, this card be could be talking about your internal world and the love you hold for yourself. This card is an opportunity to practice a little calming self-care and enjoy your own company. So either two suitors or if you're in a relationship, a compromise needs to be made. Or um, it's about how you view yourself and um, self-love. And then alongside that, which we got with it on how you can celebrate yourself, um, is the Knight of Wands. It's, I do want to read this out as well. So we got like all the court cards in, like all the court cards, this tar represents a real person in your life. Knights are teens, restless and energetic. They're incredibly passionate and sometimes a little touchy. These young people stand up for change and take action. The words of this person will have meaning to you right now. Listen carefully. They might be pointing you in the right direction. So the knight could be someone who is um, masculine, but it doesn't always doesn't always have to mean a man. Um, and they're they're restless and energetic. And it's also a wand. So wand is fire. So it could be a fire sign in your life as well, maybe. Let me take a photo of this so I can send you after as well, Molly. Um, let me take a photo. Oh my god, Molly, love it. You'll be back in Ireland again, hopefully. I hope you do come back, because you look like you had the best time here. Okay, we have that one. So, what needs to be acknowledged is the hermit. It is reversed. Now, the hermit, not reversed, um, is, it means what it, hack and says on the tin like it's hermit um but usually like in a positive way so we'll see what reversed means oh you have the flights booked and all oh my god amazing okay Okay, so the hermit reversed. Um, you have it suggests you've withdrawn too much from the world or becoming too reclusive. Solitude might have been necessary, good for you at one point, but the reverse is telling you it's time to come back to the world and the people around you. Taking time for soul searching and self reflection can be a great thing in moderation, but too much may be damaging. At some point, you do need to draw a line under things and move forward. This major arcana in reverse in position indicates that now is a good time. Um. It can indicate you might be feeling shy or apprehensive about being in social situations. Don't be afraid to get back out there. Um, also, alternatively, the Hermit um, Reverse can indicate you're avoiding self-reflection completely as you're afraid you'll discover what you look inside yourself. It can be an indicator of becoming too fixated with someone or something or too rigid and restricted in your views. Not that call out. That was a call out. For sure. Wait, it wasn't reversed. It wasn't reversed, actually. But we can, it says here you're entering the, the reverse, so the reverse means that, which I kind of take it as if you, if you view the upright, but you also get the reversed, it means that, that that is what could happen or the upright means that you could be like the reversed, but the upright is like what could happen if you change that. So if you're feeling like the reversed, it means that the upright could be what it could be sort of um but it says here you're entering a period of soul search and self-reflection spiritual enlightenment 
You might feel you need time alone to gain, to gain a deeper understanding of yourself. Remove yourself from the daily grind in order to discover your true partial self. Contemplate your existence, your direction or your life, or your values. It can indicate isolating yourself or drawing yourself in order to recover from a difficult situation. It suggests you may be going through antisocial phase. I mean, pretty much what we already read. Um, you don't interact with people as much as you normally would. Um, the hermit is wise, mature and knowledgeable. It may be an indication of someone seeking the services of a counsellor or psychiatrist. It's time to focus on yourself and meeting your own needs. So that's the hermit. That was the, the world is the reversed one I need to remember. Um, okay, so the next question was sorry i have that much shit land about um okay so how should you embrace it we got the four of wands it is reversed so let's see it it's hot Okay, in general context, the four of wands reverse re represents unhappy families, being jilted or cancelled celebrations, surprises, parties or events. It can signify leaving home, postponed or cancelled reunions, feeling like you don't fit in, not being made to feel welcome and lack of support. This minor arcana, when reversed, can indicate failure, lack of achievement, neglect, instability, insecurity and being transient or uprooted. You may experience self-doubt and your self-esteem might be low when it appears. It represents um, lack of teamwork or community spirit and communities or families divided. So yeah, it does seem, it can be, it seems to be like maybe unhappy family times. Um, it seems that, but hold on, what does the question? So, so what needs to be acknowledged was the hermit saying that um, you may want to come away. So obviously you feel like um, the reversal is more relevant to you but this also might mean that if there's people in your life that are um making you feel like the reversed four of wands that maybe you need the hermit energies to to come away from that maybe over christmas um or it may not be relevant to you of course um okay what needs to be released Okay, so the world upright with we've got it reversed, but upright, um, it, it means like wholeness and um, everything sort of like coming together. But reversed means, um, it means that you may have not accomplished what you set out to do and things have become stagnant. You may have tried to take shortcuts instead of putting in the hard work to achieve your dreams. You may be throwing all your energy into trying to make something work that isn't working for you. It can signify feeling stuck in a situation this will be one particular part of your life that's taking up your energy rather than problems in all areas. You may be aware of what it already is um, as it will be a focus for you and you may feel burdened by it. Remember, there's no point in flogging a dead horse. I don't like that saying, but whatever. Um, so if you've thrown everything you have into it and it's still not working for you, the word reverse may be telling you it's time to accept the disappointment and cut your losses. So that one was for um, what needs to be released. So maybe this thing... Um, needs to be released or the feelings of lack of achievement or disappointment maybe needs to be released um okay and then how do you let all that go um is the emperor upright um i'll read out her version of the emperor upright since it is upright um let's see i think it's near the end emperor somewhere Akis, Emperor, where are you? It's not near the end. Okay, the Emperor. Um, to the left of the burrow stands a proud buck guarding his family. The Emperor is our devoted father figure, the comfort and safety we feel from healthy structure and routines that have been laid down by our elders before us. He is the divine masculine. This is not the same as the overly toxic masculine we see today in the media, which prices strength and repressing emotions above all. No, that is his shadow. In this light, he is calm, serene and regal. He has unwavering patience and strength to protect his kingdom. In the wild, male rabbits are protective of their burrows and does. 
They fight fiercely but not recklessly. They know when to fight and when to run. The Emperor wears a crown of holly. Holly is said to be masculine for its hard spiky structure and poisonous berries. He looks through his monocle, seeing and protecting all. And the Emperor asks, what healthy structures can I put what healthy structures can I put down to protect myself? Am I leading in my power or allowing fear to lead me? That was a fucking amazing card. So it seems, how do you let go of all that? Well, it seems maybe, maybe the emperor saying to protect yourself, put up your boundaries, protect yourself from these negative um, emotions, people, things. Um, that's what that sounds like. I love that. What healthy structures can I put down to protect myself? And am I leading my power or allowing, or allowing fear to lead me? Amazing. Amazing. And then we have the high we have the high priestess reversed for your Yule message. So I kind of thought of it as like your Christmas message. So let me know if I'm going too fast, by the way. reversed um so with the upright meaning the high priestess reversed in a tower reading indicates your intuition is trying to guide you and your instincts are correct however in the reverse position this major arcana card shows that you're not hearing it so you're not hearing your intuition um you're not letting it guide you you may be focused on opinions of others or winning other people's approval than your own inner wisdom it can indicate you're neglecting your own needs to take care of others. You need to take the time to connect with yourself and listen to your inner voice. Trust yourself. You have all the wisdom and knowledge you need. Oh, I love that one. I've never, I don't think I've put that one reverse. It's such a nice, nice way of looking at it. It's like. I heard a noise. That is a lovely card though. That was a really nice card, Molly. Oh my gosh. That was a re I really like the spread. I will send you a photo after stream of it. Um, a heavy one. A heavy one. I mean, it's, it's, tar it's Taro. They, 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 they do it. They do it till us. They do it till us. Honestly. Honestly. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing that. I've it's been a while since I've done a spread for anyone else. I think I've done spreads for like my my mum or like sisters and whatnot, but I don't usually do it for other people. So obviously if anything doesn't make much sense, I mean it might not, it might not. Check for my horses. Oh amazing. Kelly, thank you so much for thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for subbing and I hope you're I hope you have fun with your horses. But yeah, I love doing that. That was amazing. But yes, I hope you have an amazing, amazing Christmas, Molly, by the way. I might swap this. How long have we had the candle lit for? It hasn't been that long, right? I haven't lit them for that long, so it should be okay. All right, I will do Mal's. I just need a drink. I need a little drink. Okay. I don't remember. It would make me take a photo of yours as well, Mala, when we do that. <clears throat> okay, let me just knock these. Just get some of that. We've had a lot of energies in it today. You know what? I'm going to put the candle out. Even though it's a static, but it's going out. Put me the other one. We'll bring the other one over. This one? Our little... Pardon me. Okay. Let's go, Mallow. I'm just do a little shuffle. Can I shuffle these cards? 
Can I bend these ones? I don't think I can. They're very hard. Yeah, I can't. Khakis. I want to use my cool tricks. My cool tricks. My card tricks. Doris, I hope your day is going well. Can't do it. And I hope I'm able to play Footnote with you later. I don't know if I will. I don't know. We still have to do it. Like, these are my roots. My roots badly, badly, badly need done for Christmas. Like, and I was so tempted to, like, just dye it brown again. Um, but all my fucking emotes have red hair. My fucking profile photo has red hair. This is literally why I'm not dyeing my hair brown again. Because everything has red hair. So, <laughs> I can't. My hair does grow. It's quite, it is quite, it is quite long. Okay. Mellow. This fucking Santa hat. Wait, oh my god, do you know what else I have instead of the Santa hat? You'll be up late. Are you on night shift, Lars? Oh, you just can't really see them though. You have reindeer antlers. I know, I know, and I'm sure whims could change the colour as well if I if I if I asked. Hmm. Oh, you're on nights tomorrow? No. Oh no. Okay. I've got my reindeer antlers on. I don't know if you can hear them. All right, Mello, let's go. So how can Mello celebrate herself? But we're gonna ask. How can Mello? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got the star on how you can celebrate yourself. That's a really nice one. Okay. What does Mello need to acknowledge? Back. We got two. Mello needs to acknowledge the Page of Swords and the Five of Five of Wands. Okay. How should she embrace what needs to be acknowledged? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, what does Mello need to release? No. The chariot reversed, okay. How should Mel let this go? How should she let this go? Okay, we got the high priestess again, but we got it upright. And a Yule type message for Mallow. of one traversed okay you know i'm always here to help whims i feel like lately i have just been i feel like you need a break from me and um, that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying <clears throat> that's all i'm saying Okay. Mellow. How can you celebrate yourself? And this is the star, so this is hacking lovely. Um, everyone knows the story. The story? 
Everyone knows the story of the dove carrying the olive branch to Moses, bringing hope that the great flood had ended. Do we really need Moses references in here? Anyway, um, there's even an emoji for it. Why did she add? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not going to commentary on every single line I read. Um, but what many people don't know is that the dove and the pigeon belong to the same stout necked family of bird. This is interesting because doves and pigeons have a very different reputation from one another. No one releases pigeons at their weddings. A few poems talk about the grace and beauty of a common grey pigeon and it has no emoji. Pigeon? There isn't a pigeon emoji, is there not? Um, however, homing pigeons are bred to carry letters and can memorise up to 100 unique locations. So the dove and pigeon are really a one. The dove brings us soothing, um, regenerative waters and the beginnings of peace as we move away from the chaotic part of the major arcana. The shadow is discomfort. Things are better than they were during the tower, but it's still not great. Don't give up hope. Okay, so the star asks, what do I need to do to find peace and what will give me hope? So that's how can you celebrate yourself? So maybe you need to think about what, what will give you peace and what will give you hope. Oh, there is no pigeon emoji. Oh, she was right then. She was right. Okay, let me take a drink because I feel like I'm making mouth noises. The hot chocolate's drying out my mouth and it's not really ideal when I have to like talk a lot. Okay. So, what needs to be acknowledged then? We have the Page of Swords and the Five of Wands. So, <clears throat> Page of Swords. Okay, so the Page of Swords, like all other court cards in this tarot, represents a real person in your life. Pages are young, often children. This person is truthful and occasionally blunt, but in an endearing way. The words of this person I'm meaning to right now. So that could be, that doesn't have to be a child either. It can be someone who is childish, but not in, like, not immature, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's look at Page of Wands. Or, sorry. Five of Wands. Bear with. So this is what needs to be acknowledged. Um, as we know, fives always mean conflict. In this case, there's a conflict within the realm of your passions, interests, or even your career. This could mean a competitive rivalry. Use this complex and nuanced energy for positivity only. Strive to be your best and learn to enjoy other people's success. Don't take this energy into the dark realms of self-comparison and negative self-talk. You may need to think outside the box, but you can find a way for these um, competing ideas or people to coexist. So this might be related. So this person could be you or someone in your life. And there could be some sort of conflict there, maybe. Maybe it's about you. Maybe it's about your negative self-talk on yourself. Yeah. And thank you for that follow, by the way. Welcome on in. Um, but yes, that's what needs to be acknowledged. And then, okay, so how you should embrace it is the Ten of Pentacles. Did you get any reversals? You got two reversals, okay. Bear with me, it's just this deck is, or this guidebook is not the best. What did I say? Pentacles. Pentacles first, no swords, then pentacles. Hackies. Okay, this must be pentacles. No, that's wands. Pentacles, here we go. Pentacles are last. So, ten of pentacles is how should you embrace it? Okay, so the ten of pentacles is the culmination of a life's happy work happy work applied well at the right time it is inheritance this can mean physically passing down a business to the next generation or a, a mental or mentally a life-changing habit has become easy in a fixture 
This card is momentous. Pentacles means physical resources, but also mental and emotional too. This could mean healing from a long-term illness, finally going on a vacation of your lifetime um, that you've been saving for or paying off your mortgage. The emphasis in this end of the journey and is the start on new adventures. So the emphasis is on the end of the journey and the start of new adventures. I think the tarot guide might have a better interpretation of that card because I think I've pulled it before if you actually want to Let's see. Represents solid foundation, security and happiness in all areas of your life. It is usually connected to financial and material issues. So you can expect good things in those areas of your life. It's a good card in relation to family. It represents family responsibilities, family values and support. You can find yourself tracing your ancestry or discovering your family tree when it appears. You may be feeling very close to your family at this time. It can signify domestic harmony. You may be looking forward to a family event, celebration or gathering. Represent being conventional and embracing old traditions. It should be stable and settled when it appears in your tarot reading. So that is how you should embrace it. Maybe there's family members you're looking forward to spending time with or you want to spend time with. Um, but obviously... The, the target has way more, way more interpretations on there. Um, okay, what needs to be released is the chariot reversed, so. Okay, it can indicate that you feel powerless and are lacking direction. You need to take control of your own destiny and not let outside forces to determine your path. When the chart reversed is reversed, you're still moving, but you have let go of the reins. You need to regain your drive and determination. Don't be a passenger in your own life. Focus and take your control back. Consider what aspects of your current situation are within your control and take proactive steps to change your fate. You may be powerless, lacking in confidence and put upon by others or by the circumstances of your life. This may be leading to anger, frustration and controlled, uncontrolled aggression. If the people in your life are being too needy and demanding, you need to take back your power in a productive way and be clear about what time or resources you're prepared to dedicate to others. Set your boundaries and stick to them. Me oh gosh, not that mellow. See. I'm not liking the lighting right now, sorry. Well, we didn't mean to do that. We didn't mean to do that either. Oh, I fucked it all. I fucked it all. Heck, what have I done? Sorry, Mel. Sorry, Mel. No, I don't want colors. I just want the normal shit. Please. Fuck knows, honestly. The dark looked nice. I don't even know which one it was. But it's, I'm, I'm green. Why am I green? This is what's bothering me. I'm like coming up green or something. I don't know why I'm green. I don't know why I'm pink now either. Anyway, it's fine. Don't be passionate your whole life, to be honest. Oh no, Mellow. I'm a very passive person and I hate it. Well, maybe that's what that card's saying. Um, you need to, it says what needs to be released. Maybe you need to 
release some of that um some of that some of that energy okay so how do you let how do you let this go so i'm green again i'm sorry no i hate the green i don't know why i'm green far with my i can never get my lighting right ever 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 lighting has been the worst thing for me Now I am really pink. Really pink. Is that better? We're very dark now though. I wonder then can I turn the light up? But I feel like it's like nice and cozy. I think this is a bit better. It's a bit more cozier, a bit more, especially matches this camera as well. Obviously, this is thing. Okay. You need to stop being anxious. To yeah, I mean, easier said than done, right, Mallow? Um. Okay. What needs to be released? Or no, sorry. How do you let go? Is the high priestess. Um. She's usually about listening to your own intuition. Um. Which we've seen in Molly's. Only obviously hers was reversed. So I I can read out from this guidebook. So it says. Dusk begins to reach you. You sense a watchful gaze upon you, but you feel calm within its presence. The barn owl bustles in a branch overhead, preparing for another night of hunting. The barn owl is surrounded by so much folklore and mystery. Her pearly feathers glint in the moonlight as she watches and sees all. The barn owl is often a sign of something hidden but being revealed. She is... Emblematic? E M B L E M A T I C Um of a deep connection with wisdom and intuit 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 intuitive knowledge. Um barn owls can see in near complete darkness and their excellent hearing makes catching prey look like an art form. She listens, she hunts, and she lives by the moon, trusting her wings and intuition. Her shadow or reversal is quite the opposite. Not listening to your intuition, allowing yourself to be pulled into situations you have a bad feeling about. Trust your own wings. They will not fail you. The high priestess asks us, what do I really feel about this? Have I been lying to myself or burying my intuition? I love that card. I very, I don't think I've pulled it for myself before. Um, I don't, I probably, I mean, I probably have. I, I pulled it a lot for myself, but I, I don't, I'm not overly familiar with it but that's really really nice that one's a really nice card mellow and it's very pretty as well very pretty okay ace of wands no yeah ace of wands reversed so let's googly googly since we don't really have i think she only puts the reversed in for the major okay so in general context the ace of wands represents delays setbacks and disappointing news this minor arcana cards is reversed indicates you do not have any get up and go in you at the moment it re represents a lack of initiative passion assertiveness energy enthusiasm motivation and growth you may be stopping yourself from progressing or being slow and hesitant about starting or trying anything new Life might not be fun when the Ace of Wands appears reversed in your tarot reading, as this card signifies having no spark and things being boring and predictable. It can represent creative blocks, wasted talent or potential and missed opportunities. You need to start taking the bull by the horns. Oh my god, the bull by the horns. Um, what exactly are you waiting for? Alternatively, this card can indicate you're so passionate, enthusiastic and motivated that you're a little too intense for some people to handle. Don't lose your passion. Maybe dial it down a tiny bit. I don't think that bit's relevant to you. I... I feel like I know what parts this is relating to to you from reading, from knowing you, like reading things in the Hugs for Hard Times and your tweets and stuff. Um, I feel like I, I, I kind of, I can kind of grasp what, what this means, but, um, that is your, your Yule, Yule type message. So basically, it means that, um, maybe it means that this is how you've been feeling and maybe it's it's 
it's telling you to to try and let go of some of that but yeah i get the feeling you don't want to say it well i get the feeling well the minute you're saying how you're not feeling you know very enthusiastic about christmas or anything and this is the type message card maybe it's just pointing out that you're not but also about starting something new and i mean there are there's obviously things you've been saying about you wanting to start um maybe this is a little hint maybe it's a little hint to think about it over christmas oh i need to take a photo for you too mellow as well oh i should probably send molly hers first before i take a photo of yours in case i get your both mixed up Let me take a photo though. I'll send just both yours now. And then we have Jakey's to do as well. Oh, I had a message written out to you, Mellow. <laughs> okay. yours and then I'll send Molly hers oh I wonder if that's sent I accidentally axed off discord send Molly hers did it send for you Mel? it did okay grand I feel very deflated about my relationships right now. I think it's the time of the... I mean, obviously, it's it's fall, but I think it is the time of year too, Mellow. Like, it's... It's... It, it's it's a really hard time at the minute. You know? And I think it's you're valid for, for feeling that way. About relationships right now. Okay. This one. Yeah, it's this year as well. It's definitely not a health. This year and this time of year, it, it's not helpful. It is just not. And yeah, we're sending you lots of good vibes, Mellow. Um, lots of good vibes. It sucks when you don't know how people see you. I think that is the thing. We always want to know what people think of us. And we make our own assumptions. And usually they're wrong. Like, when me and Mock have arguments, like... We, we try to be adults about it now where we'll go in and be like okay I felt like this that when you said this this is what you thought of me or this is what this is what it was and then she'll be like but that's really not what I thought like I thought this and you're like wait what really so it's kind of like you think that people think these things about you but normally they they really don't it's just the assumptions you have in your brain and it's yeah you're not bringing any vibes at all Melo you're not bringing any any vibes you're not bringing bad vibes you're so excited i'm ready to be called out i i'm kind of nervous for this one jakey i'm not gonna lie because i don't really know you but i'm hoping you get some sort of thing from it um not that not that i know every everyone in here but i mean like because i i'm not oh i'm not completely familiar with you that's what i meant to say but i hope i hope it's insightful but if it isn't it could be why it could be why um but we'll see we'll see i need to take a drink and stuff before i start though and i am quite open about it like obviously if there's there's people i'm not overly familiar with i do you know it's it could be you know we might not get a great the best reading but we'll see i'm still gonna do it anyway you know and we'll see how it goes But yeah, I know you've like I obviously know you from you're 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 hacking here all the time. You're hacking here all the time. That sounded like a complaint. Two seconds, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Can you play Fortnite? My niece. Mel. <laughs> okay, Jiggy, I will get started on yours. My mouth is sore. I'm glad I decided to only do three of these though, right?
Okay. <gasps> oh, that's amazing though. That's amazing, Jacob. Well, I hope this is I hope this is helpful for you. I hope I hope we can give you a good reading here. I'm I mean I'm not a, a professional tarot reader. I'm not even not even professional, but I'm not even like a tarot reader. I, I wouldn't even call myself that. I just do it like occasionally. <clears throat> I don't really know. Okay. Bard colour looks for mellow. Alright. Let's go, Chico. All right, Jakey. How can how can Jakey celebrate themselves? Oh, okay. So we got Page of Cups for how how Jakey can celebrate themselves. What does Jakey need to acknowledge? Okay, so we got the chariot again for what you need to acknowledge. That's a card we've pulled quite a few times today. How can Jakey celebrate? Jakey, what are your pronouns, by the way? If you don't mind me asking, if you don't, if you don't want to tell me, um, that's completely fine. It just makes it easier when I'm thinking about you to know what your pronouns are, as well. He, him. Okay, grand. Okay, how can he embrace what needs to be acknowledged? Okay, so we have <clears throat> the Three of Pentacles reversed. Okay. What does he need to release? What does he need to release? What's this? Oh, Three of Cups. Thank you for the fart. By the way, um, D. Panker? I don't know how to say your name, but you, you gifted or you, you did that at the end of my last stream and I didn't get to thank you, so thank you. For the for the fart. Okay. What does Jake need to let go? How does Jake How will Jake need let go of what needs to be released? Okay, what does he need to let go? What does he need to let go? Did anybody hear it? Yeah, I heard it. Did you just not hear it? Okay, that's King of Pentacles reversed. A Yuletide message for Jake. Or a Christmas message. Okay, we got quite a few Pentacles here. You heard it. Grand. All right, it could be low because we're in a different scene, so that could be why. But welcome in, thank you for shopping by. All right, so all of yours, except, okay, so only two of yours are reversed, so that means we can use the guidebook for most of them. Um, So we got Page of Cups, Jakey, for how you can celebrate yourself. And if you're, um, if you're not in the Discord, Jakey, if you're in the Discord, I can DM you your, a photo of this. Or I don't really know how else I could I could send you a photo of your oh maybe you could take a screenshot. Well, I don't think you'd be able to tell what these say though. Not really sure. But um exclamation mark discord if you want to join. I don't know if the link works. Yeah, I think it works. I think it works. If you want to join Discord, feel free. All right, let me do this. Uh, page of Cups for you, JK4. How can you celebrate yourself? So, so the Page of Cups, like all court cards, this represents a real person in your life. It says at the start of them all. Um, 
So pages are young, often children. This person is soft and sweet. They radiate kindness and warmth with every hug, kiss and handhold. The words of this person will have meaning to you right now, so listen carefully. So this could be a person in your life who is very is very sweet, but they don't have to be a kid. They could be um they can be someone who gives off that kind of energy if you know what I mean and also um that could be about yourself then this could be about yourself it says how can you celebrate yourself um this person's soft sweet and they radiate kindness or maybe it's someone that you want to spend more time with to celebrate yourself okay so what needs to be acknowledged is the chariot and let me know if I'm going too fast by the way um okay so the chariot, in this enchanted embroidered forest, little insects break from tradition and have fun building a chariot out of a walnut shell with acorns for wheel. For wheels? For wheels. The caterpillars, at the symbol of change and transformation, lead the way for their friend the ladybird. The ladybird is said to be the embodiment of good fortune, the harbinger of vibrant and colourful life filled with joy. The chariot represents taking movement with precise action. There are no reins for the steeds because wit and willpower are used to harness them, not brute force. This card is about moving the mind, body and soul to a better place using our willpower. The shadow of the chariot is not being able to start, feeling stuck and refusing to take action. The chariot says any action is better than stagnation. The chariot asks, what can I do to accelerate this? What movement or physical action can I take? So that's what needs to be acknowledged and how you should embrace it is the three of pentacles reversed so okay so in a general context the three of pentacles reversed oh is not a great card to get in a tarot spread. It indicates you're not learning from your mistakes or unwilling to do so. You may be overwhelmed with the sense that you do not know what you're doing. However, you're not putting in the effort to learning. This card signifies a poor worth ethic and lack of effort, determination or commitment. You may be lacking the concentration and dedication required to achieve your goals or you may not have even set yourself any goals. It can signify feeling apathy towards various areas of your life and just not giving things your best efforts. Everything seems lackluster and there's no motivation or growth. This minor corner card indicates delays caused by conflict with a team or lack of team spirit. Um, so that's how you should embrace it. So maybe that means that these things um to embrace your your um what needs to be acknowledged, maybe you need to like acknowledge these things that are happening or maybe um yeah, maybe it's something that you need to need to focus on. Something that maybe you're not putting the work in for. I don't I don't know. Okay, and then what needs to be released then is the three of cups. So that was sorry, that was the three of pentacles reversed. And then what needs to be released is the three of cups. A lot of threes. We have two threes, two threes in this deck. Or the spread, sorry. Three of Cups is what needs to be released. Let's see. So the Three of Cups, a wonderful time approaches. Friendship and community. The card of people coming together from a street party or bake sale or ch to charity events and fundraisers. This card shows that the power we have when we're united. Look for events to participate in locally. And if you can't find any, start your own and invite everybody. Be the change you wish to see. So this one saying what needs to be released. So maybe, um, maybe from the other one where it's saying that you're not putting the effort in. Maybe there's people in your life that um could make this Christmas for you or these holidays for you that maybe you want to get in contact with and celebrate. Because this card, um, this interpretation is a little bit different, but it is usually about like celebration with um close friends. So maybe you have something coming up, or maybe you want to organize something for Christmas. Okay, so how do you let go? So how can you let go? Um, which is... Sorry. Uh, I've used a lot of energy. Okay, King of Pentacles is how you can let go, but it's reversed, so...
Okay. So in general tarot spread, the King of Pentacles reversed represents losing your grip on things, not reaching your goals or not seeing things through to the end. That kind of is in with the other one, the Three of Pentacles, right? Reverse that we just read. This card reverse can represent losing your social status, failure or lack of success, being impractical, unprincipled, taking ill-advised risks, making hasty decisions or having poor judgment. As a person, the King of Pentacles reverse can represent older, unsuccessful or an ungrounded man. There can be two extremes to the King of Pentacles in a reverse position. The first is the older male who is a slob, lazy, bad in business or has poor judgement. This king is usually broke, a gambler or unsuccessful risk taker who is weak and in his extreme negative, a complete deadbeat. That is pretty, it's pretty rough. The other is an old male who is ruthless and corrupt. His greed knows no bounds. He is usually unfaithful. He is a hypocritical cheater who will try to hold everyone around him to exacting standards that he would never reach himself. He's a miser and a money grabber and a terrible father as his obsession with materialism makes him cold, uncaring and unsupportive. He may be an earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So this could represent a person in your life. It doesn't always mean it's you. This could be someone in your life who you need to let go of. Um, if these things relate to you, then maybe these are things that you need to let go of. But it could be someone in your life, and it doesn't always have to be a man. I know it states in this uh, a man. It could be it could be any any gender. It's just a masculine energy. Um, that guy's you, Momar. That guy's not you. Come on, that guy's not you. There's no way. There's no way. There's just no way. Um, but yeah, that. <laughs> well, I hope it's not you. But yeah, that can be someone in your life, Jakey. That is um, that is like that that you need to let go of. Maybe there's someone you need to let go of that's like that. Um, but these these are definitely all related. So this is obviously you're having these celebrations, my friends, and then whoever this person is, if that's you or someone else in your life. Maybe it's someone you need to to let go of then. And Momar, also welcome in. How's it going? Um, you're you're in. Are you in Nadabar's community or am I? I? Feel like I've seen you around quite a bit, but are you in Nadabar's as well? My brain. If not, please ignore me. Two of Pentacles then. Nadabar, yes, yes, because I always see you atten for like games and stuff, and I'm always sleeping when you are playing games. It makes me sad because I did want to play. DBD in, in her community because I know a lot of you are into it but these are completely different time zones for me okay two of pentacles then is your yuletide message Jakey so let me read this okay so your two of pentacles now is a time to balance. It can be difficult to find balance in this world that asks us to be amazing at all things and accessible at all times. This card is an opportunity to take stock. Where in life is causing you, a, where in life is causing you a friction, and how can you ease this? Balance between your work and home life, or romantic friendships, are common meanings of this card, which is amazing because we have to say it about making time with friends who've said about this one was talking about lack of effort and maybe areas that you need to have the effort um so it's finding the balance between that it seems um so that's your that's your yule your yule type message your christmas message i feel like this was a pretty good reading for for like i said me not being overly familiar with you i'm, I'm pretty happy with that one jk um but yes yes it is it's it's 12 minutes past five for me so i'm GMT. Are we GMT now? Are we? We're not BST now. We're GMT, right? This reading hit home. Well, did you? If you joined it, I will take a photo just in case you did join the Discord. Obviously, no pressure into joining the Discord, but I will. I will send this to you. As well. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm really happy with that one. I. I feel like I got a good reading out of out of that. Um, JK, and I hope that I hope that you learned something from it. Oh my god, 9.13 a.m. Oh my gosh. That's early. Yeah, wait, that's West Coast. Oh, West, yeah. This See, the states confuse me because you have so many different time zones over there. Like, so many. Whereas Europe, we only have, like, our, our so different, usually. 
you'd already joined it you may have i i i i often um so i think when we when all the security stuff happened i made people react to things and here we didn't get reactive it had been like removed i also do uh daily not daily but like every so month i'll do like a purge and like purge people who aren't like haven't been online or something like that it does i'm not really sure what way discord does it but i do do purges and stuff just to make sure we don't have like no bots or something really but yeah oh i just had my mic <sighs> i'm very tired after that i'm not gonna lie that was a lot that was really good uh, i'm really happy with them i, th I feel like we had a, a very nice chill time i need to sneeze No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I think I'm grand. Yeah, if anyone wants a single card, I, I'm happy to do more of them, but... Um... <laughs> okay, request a single card pull. You can request the, the Winter Solstice one, and I will I will pull a card for you, Momar. I think it's only 300 channel points. I think if you followed, you, you should have 300. I think that's why I said it at 300, so if anyone follows, they, they should be able to... To get one, right? You get 300 for following, right? My hot chocolate's cold. It's cold. Do you want me to show you how disgusting it looks? Look at the whipped cream. It went all funky. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Mmm. That mug is huge. It's actually not that big. What the heck? I do have a big head though, so. It's small. It's small. This is my small coffee mug. You want to see my other one? <laughs> Mallow. <laughs> that was pretty gross, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was dirty. It tastes good though. It tastes good though. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Oh my god. Today has been really... I've had a... I've had a cosy time. Watery wrapped cream in it. No, it, you're right, Mellow, it isn't. Um, <clears throat> Tuesday... I'll put these away if, and if anyone wants one, I will, I will put one, but... So, it's Tuesday today. You can't place my accent. It's, um the north of ireland um so tomorrow what day is it tuesday so tomorrow 2 p.m will be um i think i'm gonna do skyrim tomorrow at two and i'm gonna flatten my island on animal crossing on thursday at two no sunday stream because it's boxing day oh no dragon age then Wait, when are we doing Dragon Age? Because I did say I was still going to do it, even though we weren't doing a Sunday stream. <laughs> we can do it next week. We can do it next week. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it next week. I don't want to start Inquisition till I get a new capture card anyway, so we ca it doesn't matter Like if Dragon Age takes us a bit longer to do. Let me go back onto this screen now. <clears throat> so it doesn't really matter. Um... I'm really zoomed in here though. Yeah, I think that'll be the end of it. Our next stream will be the end of Dragon Age. I think. I love it so much. It has. Oh, it's literally my favourite, favourite game. Like. What is that noise? This music hasn't been very fucking Christmassy. Do you think it's been Christmassy? Because I really don't. I'm sorry, horse hell, you need to get your shit together, mate. Um, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Not me complaining about free, free, um, free music.
Thank yous for chilling with me. Thank yous for chilling. I appreciate it. I really do. I really, really do. I've had a good time and I hope you have an amazing Christmas. I'm going to see you tomorrow anyway, so I don't really have much to say. Um, I'll see you tomorrow for Skyrim because it works now. I'll see you um, on Thursday as well for Animal Crossing. We're going to flatten our island. I don't know who to read. I was thinking, should I tell you my options? Should we? Should I tell you my options actually? I'm thinking of reading. So we have Alaxarius. Alaxarus. Um, they're playing Skyrim. We have Jerry who's playing Witchwood. We have Fox T who's playing Pokemon. Wait! No! Emily's life! What? Emily! I text him was like Emily's life. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Okay, the rape message. Emily is literally one of my favorite people ever. Oh, I love her so much. Please, please, please go give Emily some love. Oh, we love Emily. My most sonati now. But yes, I'll see you all on. Are you so sure? Um, tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so so much for hanging out. Um. I'm Emily's mod as well, so I don't know why I always say that every time I rate someone who has their mod. But yeah, thank you for hanging out and I'll see you all, I don't know, tomorrow at 2pm? Yeah, let me click on this. Okay, bye. Bye, let's go say hello to Emily. Oh wait, I haven't copied the rate message. Make sure you copy the rate message. <laughs> copy. Okay, let's go, let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs>